Hey, welcome to Game Hole Con Late Night Edition 2022. It's late. It's late. And we're going to have some fun, chaotic, Halloween-themed 5th Edition Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, but before we get there, we're going to do a plug now, and then we're going to do a plug then. Then is when the game is done. Remind me. And all the way down to my left, who do we have? Hello, everybody. I'm Teos Abadia. I work as a freelance author and designer. Uh, uh, you can find me on applestream.org, where I have many things, including the YouTube show, Success in RPGs, telling you all about how you can make almost no money at all in our field. <laughs> uh, it's full of grim reality. It's true. I don't need help with that. A lot of, play, you know, a lot of channels, they'll say, here's how to make tons of money. I tell you the opposite. Dozens of dollars. Usually oh, make, making some money in gaming involves starting with a lot of money, am I right? Exactly. You get a slightly <laughs> lower return, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a reality TV show. <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> too real. Too real, too real. Hello, my name is Monica Valentinelli. You can find me at booksofthem.com. Um, two things. Uh, we had a wild and wacky uh, game, and if you would like to read a recap, um, you can go to my Twitter at um, booksofthem. <laughs> And uh, the game that I would like to plug is Tales of the Red, um, Night City Stories from um, our Talsorian Games for Cyberpunk Red. Oh, nice. um, if Very you cool. want a fantastic book of adventures with a bunch of amazing design, um, just totally off the hook, great for uh, everything from suspense to horror, check it out. Oh, hey, it's me. Hi everyone, I'm Elisa Teague. I am a game designer, puzzle creator, and RPG author. Um, the latest release that I have worked on with, well, we'll yeah, we'll, we can high five. Came out this week, Transformers RPG um, from Renegade wow. Game Studios. Yeah. Um, and oh. I don't have it to hold up, but that's okay. Um, but also recent uh, releases, uh, a lot of them I worked on with Ryan, uh, <laughs> including the Essence 20 system, yep. role-playing system, uh, G.I. Joe RPG, uh, Power Rangers RPG, and the upcoming My Little Pony RPG. I also wrote the puzzle section of Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, uh, the Wardlings RPG, and uh, I've designed uh, a, couple things. a couple other board games and card games about, I don't know, I'm... I, my bio says over 100. I think I'm now closer to 200, yeah. but I'll have to, I don't want to count. That's still over 100. Um, yeah, and it is still it, over 100. It doesn't invalidate the lower number. Um, I'm here today to annoy these guys, and I uh, can't wait. <laughs> uh, first things first, Kyle, can you check and see if the orange button was, uh, was un. Okay, so he is unmuted. Okay, Unpress the button. Oh, and you can, hold on. I need to finish one thing because I always forget this. You can follow me on Twitter at, at geekypinup. I always forget to say that. That's right. Go ahead. And uh, hi, I'm Tommy, and uh, hi, I'm Tommy. here. So, hi, hi, Tommy. And hi, I'm Tommy. here. Uh, I'm here plugging Legacy of Mana, which is the world setting we're playing in tonight. Uh, it is full of mayhem and, and, and chaos, as as we have uh, addicted Elisa to play with us multiple times. This she, world she was supposed to, to go to bed, a, but she's this, here now. This world used to be a really nice and serious and well thought out place, and then Elisa showed up and. And now, and now it is everything. a sitcom, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is good, which is good. This is good. Um, and yeah, so anyway, you can follow us at Six Sides of Gaming if you're watching from Six Sides. Uh, we are also partnered with uh, Demiplane RPG. Uh, Demiplane is here at the at Game Hole Con with us, and the two streaming bodies have come together to create this stream room all weekend long, where you get to see all kinds of cool programming, including panels, games, D&D, uh, Shadowrun, maybe even some Cthulhu, which didn't actually happen tonight. Instead, we're doing this. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So, and to my right is the great Hollywood. <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong stream, wrong, wrong game, stream. Wrong game, wrong uh, game. Uh, Brian C.P. Steele, uh, author, designer, developer, guy. I just consider myself a professional nerd. Um, it's a good profession. And uh, most of the things that Elise already said, that's been my last couple of years, uh, with a little bit of add-ons for some novel work for Shadowrun. hey -o. Uh, at Twitter is uh, Brian C.B. Steele. And your show. Oh, yeah. And every Friday I do a YouTube show where I talk at a camera and make people laugh at me uh, <laughs> called Tales from a Professional Nerd. Oh, nice. Okay. And you are? I am Devin Wilson of the Elder Dragons, as well as the uh, Six Sides of Gaming Twitch channel, and I was the lead writer of Legacy of Mana. I kind of wish I knew Elisa before that. I could have added some addendums, but it's all good. It's all good. So we are Break playing... Break my world, please. <laughs> <laughs> am I breaking it really, or am I just Eeky. making it more interesting? Eeky world breaker. 
Whoa. Ooh, that's my new nickname. It's going on the character sheet Whoa now. Breaker. So uh, where are we? What are we doing? Let's get we right into this. We're diving into a tale of thrills, chills, and horror beyond your nightmares. Oh. You have all been traveling for some time on the road. It is going from one position to another place. Perhaps you're all being taken back to go see the very nice estate that uh, Chance... Lord. Lord, sorry. My <laughs> apologies. Lord Chance. <laughs> Should we introduce our characters? Was gifted. We'll do them. Oh, no, no. I'm setting the scene. Oh, Don't back see <laughs> That guy's out of time again. He's, he's a little annoyed. He's been sitting in a prison for a while. It's true. You were all on your way to go visit the estate, the very nice stately estate stately estate of lord chance who uh through great and heroic valor and awesome adventuring capabilities was rewarded handsomely for dealing with a draconic influence single-handedly mm -hmm. all by myself two dragons yep were routed <gasps> from the lands for all eternity mm -hmm. many bardic tales have been sung in my many name. indeed many there's another song about you in Dwarven, but I'm not going to repeat that in polite company. <laughs> That's okay. It's just a jealous cousin on my mother's side. Of course. <laughs> and uh, oh. who are you, and why should we care? <laughs> uh, well, I'm Lord Chance. Fair That's enough. why you should care. The Lord Chance. The, the That's right. Lord the. Chance. With Dragon Slayer and Hunter and Tamer. Preferably Tamer. That's, evil dragon slayer. There you go. Slayer of evil dragons and Benign tamer. Benign and benevolent dragon tamer and freer of their proverbial bonds. Yes. Very good. And who are you bringing to uh, to your house viewing? The two recently uh, released from time prison. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, we are Eke. And Iki. We are twin foxes. I am stark white with a little bit of gray, now mixed into my fur. <laughs> twin f twin tails. Nice shock of gray. Right shock of gray. <laughs> and I am a chronomancer. I manipulate time as a tiny little fox. A kitsune, if you will. My twin sister. Hey, I'm Iki. I'm bright pink with no gray. I up. might be causing the grace. The uh, clinking sound of ankle bracelets uh, <laughs> clatter on the road as you continue on your way. A little um, sapphire gem emblazoned in each of them glows every now and again. Oh, are we being monitored now? Oh, yes. You're on time house arrest. Oh, wow. That's fun. We're okay. We're I will have you know, Iki and Oka. Okay. Okay. Um, that, we, that you have been released to my care. Really quick, Excellent. before we get into anything, we can take a nap right after. Can we just pull keys to these things from the future and just be done with this? <laughs> He's the dungeon master. Let's try it. As long as you're willing to face the consequences. What's another couple years Please in prison? Don't. I mean, we can't, we can't <laughs> not awesome do a game now where we don't go to prison at the end. Also, we can't <laughs> not do a game where I don't immediately pull something from, from tomorrow. Should we do it? Or should we just leave these on? They're kind of fun if they're modern. Actually, it's cool because they, they could be like blue light for us. If we need to. That's true. And also, can, like, so, so let's just show you, them what we can do. If you try to unlock your shackles in this way, I immediately temporarily gain all of your condensate powers for the duration. <laughs> I don't think that's the way I don't that know works about at all. That. <laughs> but I can um, try to No, let's leave them. Let's leave them. We'll yeah, leave, we'll leave them. them on for now. I'm going to pull something better from tomorrow. We'll just see. And joining you are some new friends that you have made in your uh, previous travels and possibly also from court. Mm. Who's to say we have uh, the enigmatic bard? Indeed, my name is Peter Principal, and my rich crimson <laughs> hide shows me to be a hobgoblin, and the tight cut of my goatee shows my care for my appearance. Uh, I am indeed a bard of the College of Time. Wait, did I say that now or yesterday? I don't know. So something of interest to uh, hobgoblins in Amaria, they back in the, the dawn of time, they used to be the jesters of the land. Uh -huh. And then when war came, because there were so many of them, they were used as frontline infantry. Not and so much of a joke In now. order to prevent themselves from being slaughtered in mass, they became excellent military strategists. And so you, of course, are starting to kind of 
return to the roots of your people and indeed once again rejoin them in the in the bardic wave. Yes, yes, it's not a revolution or an overthrow. No, no. <laughs> we're here to study mostly. And finally, I. Oh, you want me? To, I'm Nuggle Honey's Bane. Nuggle Honey's Bane? It's a family name. Oh, of course. My dad was the best Honey's Bane. I'm a big bear with a shield and a sword. <laughs> I'm a bear barian. <laughs> Excellent. We have a punter. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You're a bear barian. Yeah, well, yeah. Are you not a bar barian? No, I don't mix drinks. Okay, just flatlines. <laughs> Another little gray hair comes out. He's just got this forehead vein that just pulses. <sighs> For the hive. Now, you have been traveling for some time. Um, it's been a long day. Uh, you've been spending most of your time on the road, uh, camping out in little tiny uh, tarp huts while, of course, uh, Lord Chance has a portable mansion mm -hmm. um, that only seats one. Um, yes, I am looking to add additional rooms, but I need more bag holdings for those. Yes. Yeah. And you only accept them if they're made from prime silk and That's cashmere. Right. That's right. Because, you know. Even can't. though I don't know what cashmere is. It just uh, well, it nice. doesn't matter if you know what it is. It's all the rich people want it. Right. Thus, you must have it. That's right. And it has to have some weird letter emblazoned on it, like M or G or something. B, you get a lot of those in the black market. Oh, okay. Monogrammed uh, bags of holding. Monogram bags of holding. Yes. yes. You're looking forward to this night because you're finally reaching a roadhouse. Um, you won't have to sleep out on the cold, hard ground. Uh, you know, it'll be quaint, rustic. So, remind you of the days before. Oh, it will keep me humble. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I hear that's a good thing these days. <laughs> um, the purple and orange expanse of a dying sun lights up the far reaches of the horizon as you arrive at the quaint traveler's inn. It's known as Ensby's Rest. It'll been a long day of travel, and while this place is small, remote, and not very much to look at, it is nonetheless a promise of a hearty meal and a warm bed for the night. Making your way inside to secure a room, you notice everyone here is slow-moving and dreary, their eyes darkened with sullen expressions. Stepping up to the innkeeper, he barely nods his head in recognition, his gray eyes bloodshot like they haven't had rest in ages, and his sinewy arms weakly polishing a dirty glass. Requisitioning a room does not take very long. He mostly just mumbles, hands you a key, and waves you on your way up to the stairs. Someone has been mopping the same corner for what looks to have been an hour as they sort of nod, almost nod off on their mop, and just when they're about to fall asleep, they slap themselves in the face and kind of gets them going for another couple minutes and then they start to droop again. A couple of children run in, get themselves some drinks, laugh, cheer, run around and then leave. Hey you boy, there! With the paper! What? You seem animated. The others do not. What is this? Ah, their adults are all overworked and tired all the time. Well, that is fair. But, uh, are they always like this? Now? really boring. How long has this uh, affected these people? Uh, a while back. Ever right. since Johnny's birthday. Actually, no, it was before that. Just a little bit before that. How long ago did Johnny have a birthday? Uh, a couple days. Uh, 30 sleeps, I think. 30 sleeps. Wait, how many times do you sleep a day? <laughs> oh, I'm I mean, tired, I, but... I sleep at least twice a day. Sometimes. Right. And this fatigue has set in. The what? Fatigue. What? Being tired. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. I guess so. I mean, the adults are always tired. They always complain about being tired and achy backs and bad joints. Do they not sleep at night? No, they do. I guess they just don't get enough. I don't know. Well, they probably are parents. Perhaps. That was for all the parents <laughs> out there watching. Represent parents, right? You know what I'm talking about. Sleep while you can. <laughs> if you're having children in the future of your life, sleep while you can. It will get better. Yeah. Uh, I take advantage of everyone's jury notice, and, and basically I just want to perceive the area and get a lay for the land and see if there are any magical objects. Nothing that immediately steps out at you. Okay. Looks like a very quaint place. Okay, so low magic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are we tired? <laughs> it's been a long day, yeah. 
you're, you're weary from the from the road, but you're not like exhausted. It's a normal type of tired yes. for us, though. As what we you walk would normally in. expect. We're not behaving like they are. No, it looks like they haven't slept in days. At least properly, anyway. Perhaps we should observe the rest of the town to see if it is like this everywhere. Well, if I find a big room, I can put my tiny little mansion in the big room and sleep in my tiny little mansion. You can't do that. Yay. Because that bed's going to be better than this one. It is. It is. It is. Truly. Tiny little mansion. A work of magic. She does nowadays. She's always off on her own doing something. Lord Chance and her tiny mansion. How many days has it been since they've gotten regular sleep, according to this child? According to the child, you would estimate about a month. About a month. Okay, 30 sleeps. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, or 15 if sleeping twice I'm going to do something already. Oh, do it. Mm, mm. Time. Um, time. Time is confusing. The innkeeper? Yes. Um, <laughs> I would like to reach into the past and touch his... Uh, uh, well, he show. Could definitely have all the time. Um, I, I will say, yeah, I mean, is there like a book or no, because somebody else could have touched that. Ah, is there an His, object that he would normally clean that looks like it has been sitting for over a month? Interesting. No, but can't I also go into the past and touch something in the past? Overly personal. <laughs> no. No, the way object being works is you're gonna you're gonna take. You can reach into the past and, and commune with any non-fluid in it. Yes. Right. So uh, yeah. So you grab the object. And Perhaps the a past spoon or a fork. Okay. So so um, yes, I'm gonna say most likely yes, there is something you could touch like that has not been touched in a while. Yeah, bar I think so. Nobody's ordered it because yeah. they're so tired they don't want to. There's drink. a there's a bottle of whiskey on the back that looks like it's not been dusted in quite some time. Um, I will then. Uh, I don't want him to touch it now. So yes. um, I am going to stealth while he's kind of out of it. I'm going to tell you right now. Right you now. Su- you succeed. Okay. <laughs> There's no way he's going to catch and, that. And, and uh, object read that whiskey bottle to see if I can see what happened in his life. So you see a rather much more, uh, oh, I don't want to say jovial, but rested individual who is taking it and pouring it. And he, Seems to be having a pretty good time, and he places it there on the shelf, and then it seems like it hasn't been moved since. Hmm. You estimate that was about a month ago, a little bit, maybe a little bit more. But I can't see what happened to make him not be rested yet. Uh, what you did discover hmm. is that they were lively, and something has made them not lively. Perhaps we should investigate the structure and see if there's anything wrong with the structure before we is there a room. mayor here maybe someone who has an authority that can give not us really some it's mostly just a roadhouse we need a well that would horse. be me <laughs> yeah, you're actually yeah you would be the most politically influential person in the region correct yes would you like some guards do you want somebody else to go investigate the house no I I'm <laughs> simply Lord. asking to speak to someone with authority here yes that would be me uh, do you know what happened to them well no, but I could probably find out. Are you working I whispered them to you, to Lord Chance. Yes. Perhaps someone has checked in a month ago. Oh. oh. That's a good idea. It's one of those signs. Would you like to explore it's that? It's your idea. Oh, see? Is there and a I, sign I in I give book? you five gold pieces there is. underneath <laughs> the table. See? Oh, I didn't want to read it. I just want to know if there was one. We guys. should look at the register. Yes, there yeah, are many the people book. who have signed in recently, uh, come and gone. Uh, up to a month ago and further onwards. See? Although you do notice that uh, the place seemed to be a lot more... You did this. So, about a month ago, you've noticed no one has stayed longer than a day. Before that, you have people who check in and then like days later they check out. And that's fairly regular. But as soon as you hit about 30 days ago, 31, 32, roughly, uh, it's whenever someone checks in, it's always like done normally. And then you see like super hastily scribbled like literally 6 a.m. the next morning Hmm. and then they checked out Mm. something tells me that spending a night in this place would not bode well we should stay the night to see or we could stay the night outside and then come back in the morning for what purpose because there's other people here that we can perhaps spy on and see what happens to them I see observe this place from the outside or oh no <laughs> <laughs> you're you're lording everything about quite a bit 
so we could maybe just cast sleep on Lord Chance and observe what happens. <laughs> it is a I, I would not be so hasty with that, as that might violate the terms of your prison release. Not, not if no. it was consensual, of course. <laughs> no, it's not consensual. <laughs> do, you, do you need somebody to nap? Because I'll nap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's what he does. The necessities of... I mean, I'm all right with that. Can, what I is like, the... can I have like three soups and a beer can? I like a, like a, and I'm good. I'll nap for they a while. They hand you cold soup with a fly in it. Mmm. Oh, that is foul. I mean, that's extra protein. <laughs> I was like, there you go. The fly. <laughs> I didn't order that, but. Uh, uh, not oh, you don't get this. Not paying for it. He needs <laughs> more oregano. <laughs> oh, Good deal, I'd say. So you eat the soup? Sorry, right. Let me figure. Where's the oregano? Uh, what time of season is it? Like late, like late October? It is. Uh, high it's starting har- to get chilly. High harvest. High late harvest. October. High harvest. Uh, I will mm. chew on the candle, too. Do you happen to have any yeah, sorry, um, knowledge of local traditions or <laughs> lore? Enough, yeah. Is there any sort of like blood harvesty? Oh, but of course, of, spirit of course. harvesty. I could regale you with the tales of this land. <laughs> uh, yes, there are a number of tales which I can tell with a thirteen, such as, <laughs> such as uh, <laughs> during the high harvest season, the link between the veil and the material world tend to get thin, and so things thin. sometimes bleed. Oh yeah, lots mm. of bleeding fruit. Mm. <laughs> I I remember a time I hearken back to the long, long days ago when when I was a heroic adventurer. A heroic adventurer <laughs> wrenched through a, a series of runes, which I activated all by myself to slay some dragons. <laughs> Oh, I've heard this Our tale. Ankles are yes. glowing. <laughs> I shall repeat this tale everywhere I go. Oh, yes, Lord excellent. Chance. I look forward to hearing uh, it someday. It is possible that the uh, this magical realm, which I know very little about, as as I uh, was not able to stay there very long. You were there for like we we've had an intimate ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were there for like twelve seconds. You threw an axe twice, and then you were gone <laughs> before she ditched us there. <laughs> Tactical withdrawal. <laughs> totally dead. Um, I wonder if there there must be some sort of mind-body link connection, and if so, I mean, how can we protect our valiant dreamer from these creatures as we test this oh, theory? Good. You don't have to protect me. I'm good. Oh, I'm good with that, too. Okay. So okay. we'll be here for some time, I take it, then, as this plan unfurls? Most I likely. Mean, I will, I will do some light meditation as I begin to ritually do detect magic. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Is there anything anybody wants to do for 10 minutes while he's doing that? Um, I assume yeah, he's preparing I to will sleep. And use, uh, use the ritual for augury. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and the question I'm going to ask at the end of augury is, if we stay here for a prolonged period of time, wheel or woe or both? Both. <laughs> I love those confusing portents that come to my augury's eyes. Augury's great. That's almost always the answer. <laughs> Speaking of augury, my augury point started at... 14. 14. Okay. You in- get some interesting things. Being a hobgoblin who's attuned to the veil, as that is where you kind of pull some of your power from bardic might, tapping into history itself to weave the stories and, and, and powers that you that you have, The the there is kind of watching the streams of mana around the place. There's a ton of mana read around Lord Chance. You imagine Lord Chance has all kinds of weird magic items, various talismans and things like that. Um, but this entire place is ha- has some sort of weird essence to it, like an aura, some kind of ethereal mark. Um, as, in, as if like there's a thinning of the veil, much similar to the stories that you regaled with. Uh, the, the border ethereal is sort of the... the I was going to say the veil between the veil, but that's the... It would be, it's sort of like the uh, the curtain between the living world and the dreaming world mm. and, the, and, the, and the spirit world. And normally it's quite difficult to get to. You need portals or magic or whatever. But during this time of year, it gets a lot thinner and things can kind of pass through. And this entire place seems to sort of be... Sort of half in one, half in the other. 
Should yes. for their for the new players' uh, knowledge, should we explain what the veil is? So the veil is a, a wreath around the world, a sort of a strainer, a, a mesh of sorts, which controls time. Um, and it is also the place that holds the demiplanes that mortals go when they dream. Their consciousness sort of bleeds out into the veil, and they visit the dream world, and their consciousness creates things in that world. But also, if they have been particularly affected by negative emotions, they can end up in the nightmare, which is a terrifying, mm. horrible place filled with darkness and shadow and uh, negative emotions. And it is um, sort of not unheard of for places with that have experienced great grief or uh, trauma to kind of pull the shadowy tendrils of the nightmare towards their material inhabitants and cause weird things to occur. It can also happen for the dream as well. Uh, this much less likely because it's very rare for you to find a town full of really happy, dreamy people. Much more likely to find a town full of miserable people who hate everything. So it's <laughs> we, we shall steer clear of those bad areas. <clears throat> I wonder uh, if we can detect them with fire. <laughs> so he's detecting while he's sleeping? Well, I, think, I think you're getting ready to have a nice little nap. Yeah. Okay. That'd be great. And the rest um, of you are going to observe? Yep. I mean, so yeah, we'll go up to the nicely. room to do this? I would assume so, yeah. Like, right. Okay. So you did <laughs> like, say that we could take an action in the next 10 minutes, right? Yep. Okay, so... What, so well, he's getting ready to sleep. He's okay. doing detect magic. He's they're doing I'm augury. Augering. What would what, you like to do? Fire. Um. So um. Fire. You mentioned that the soup was cold. Yes. And that um, there seems to be a lot of cold spots or areas. So you. so I don't want to light the building on fire, but I want to see if I light a candle. Like, will it go out? You, Are there when places you, when where you light drafts? a candle? The very tired people, kind of their eyes like jolt over to you and they're like no fire and they all come at you and put out your candle and they're Interesting. Like, no okay. fire that's a new no fire well isn't that's... that a king hmm. that is uh, that is not good so I um, so I have a waterproof lantern and I make sure that I can light it but I was wondering if anybody else had the ability to have any uh, magical lights that you can test Magical lights? I can conjure. Something that is not Does fire. Uh, is, uh, something that is magical. Does Nuggle Honey need a nightlight? Would you like is some that, dancing lights? <laughs> is that what we're sorting <laughs> out here? We don't have any ability to, to use light. Guiding bolt too. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's a little I extreme. Mean, <laughs> guiding bolt hurts. <laughs> I, uh, I conjure forth a glowing figure. Looks like a spectral being of Ooh. glowing light as I use my dancing lights cantrip. There you oh. go. There we are. Assuming it works. Oh, yes, that does work. What do the patrons uh, do? Uh, did you turn the lights down. Are they operating differently, the lights at all? No. No flickering? No. no they seem fine. No, Why so they're only don't afraid you of like fire. fire. And light, apparently. Trust me, you'll see. That but, sounds very ominous. But why? Too tired to explain. Just you'll my, see. My friend. <laughs> I'm going into the eyes, into the time, back in time, and using temporal <laughs> secrets. Awesome. Temporal secrets is as an action. I focus my mind on any one creature I can see within 30 feet of me. That would be him. Momentarily pass through the border of Theria to witness an event, time related to the creature's surface thoughts. The target makes a wisdom saving throw. He failed. If succeeds, okay. I rolled then, a one. Then he has no idea. He has that no I'm doing idea this, you're doing this. And I'm going to witness a memory as if watching it from their perspective. Okay. Time. Are you sleeping now? I, I was waiting to let you know if I got a like nice comfy pillow or something. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> as soon as I have the opportunity, I'll walk around in circles two or three times. Then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the two of you witness this at the same time. <laughs> you because you're living it, and oh. you because you're witnessing it through memories. Mm, uh -huh. Interesting. Startled out of sleep with a chill, the know the night is warm, and as though someone has walked across your grave and the shivering rolls up your spine. And for a moment, you wonder if it was you who walked over your own plot. With this thought, a wailing scream pierces the night, and the warmth reveals itself to be fires spouting all over the inn. Folk run to and fro, hounded by horrific creatures, like elongated corpses of blood and shadow. You see many people cut down, unable to escape their pursuer's deadly gait. Over the din of the screams and flames, a cruel voice can be heard. You know what must be done. Offer your children to the darkness of the caves. Only then will the nightmare be ended. 
As a man in black robe stands at the doorway to the inn, his voice carrying unnaturally through the air, his eyes coursing blood droplets all the way down his face. A creature approaches, wrenches your head off your body, gouges out your entire internal organ structure, and then you awaken, both of you. So, sleep well. That was interesting. You all watched as he shook, shuddered, and writhed in what looked to be agony, and you now have a level of exhaustion. I hate that. I uh, I will check where I was sleeping to make sure that I did not covered in sweat, but just sweat. Yes, <laughs> you're you're good. You're okay. I will explain this to my companions. What I witnessed in my eyes. Uh, the bartender just kind of in stumbles the eyes off. Of the bartender. I believe this place is hexed by something from another plane, a, a fiend of sorts. Mentioned something about children. Yep. And a cave. Did you not notice, Iki, that the children were full of life and energy? I did notice. What could that be? They're fattening them up. Where was this cave? Is this cave beneath this house or nearby? Did I see it? Did he see it? No, you didn't see the cave, although you could probably use your eyes. And, you know, go look around. <laughs> I think, like, if from in this room, I was like, that seems like something we probably would have noticed. Yeah, or, 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 yeah, the corner of the end, I'm the heart. I mean, we there's could just cave. ask the innkeeper. I didn't see it, so do you want to ask the innkeeper? There was a cavern. No, oh, the caves. The caves. Where are the caves? To the east. You can't go there. It's dark and dangerous. Mm. Dark? Dangerous? Uh, evil stories. To. Evil stories. Yeah. That's exactly where we must go. It was a Zayan coup. He went there a hundred years ago, wrote evil and never returned. His entire platoon wiped out. It's a cursed place. Mm. We should go. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes. We should get kind of supplies you first. Unblinking. They don't want to sleep. What sort of supplies do you they wish? Don't, they are actively trying not to sleep because you would assume when they do... Because it's a terrible place filled with horrible... They are killed yeah, no, and burned awful. and... yeah. But not really killed and burned, just in their nightmare. Correct. But the anguish. They are, yeah, they are all transported into the nightmare repeatedly every night. Yes, I will not oh, yes, what that I needs to end. But, <laughs> but I would not want to rush into a cave unprepared. We need holy objects. We need something blessed. We need armor, something to prepare ourselves. But Wait. is there only this inn? I, I is now there a have chapel of any sorts? Science. There is a small chapel. Are we not adventurers? Uh-huh. We have everything we need now and then. <laughs> because that worked out so well in the time that I didn't meet you. Sapphire gems flash and glow slightly. <laughs> yes. I mean, um, here's the here's the real problem and why this is your defeat of, oh boy, of Iki. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Is that if Iki can't sleep, Iki can't keep pulling things from tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it does just so happen to work that way, doesn't it? <laughs> but. We got one use. So we have to hold on to it. It's got to be the use. I would like to go, uh, if, if the party is amenable to it, perhaps we should go to the shrine and see if anybody is there. Um, and if There's a very tired priest. Well, if we can get. Less, Lessons and of if the sun be are, with you. Perhaps some holy water. Perhaps some holy water. Prayers, uh, Bible, crosses. Have you tried using these devices to protect the town? Holy water. We sprinkled the water. It tends to work most of the time, but as the days wear on, it's been getting worse and worse. Can you bless the well that the village draws the water from? Uh, yes, we do regularly. Hmm. But to be honest, it's been so difficult. I can barely even stand. Evil. Is there a way that we can heal the priest so that that he has more stamina to, to bless? Um, oh, don't look at me. We don't have a cleric. Whoops. That was a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's also gone. See, the temporal mystics just kind of didn't ask where she was from, nor did they care, and they kind of just sent her to the other side of the Mario. <laughs> oh, so she's gone. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I feel just out there somewhere. So we we've been traveling, so we're tired. Yeah, you, you are. So we got to get this done. Indeed, because we have to go to sleep. If we go to sleep, we're going to end up like him, exhausted. and then we'll be exhausted. And Amazing. then yeah. So we need to go directly to the caves. Yes, well, what I will if? take a glass of your finest holy water before we leave. D- uh, here, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You did Good mention stuff. that you do have the ability to pull an object through time, right? Correct. 
Yes, Lord Chance, I believe... Oh, sorry. Yes, Lord Chance, I believe you are aware of this, even though you like to pretend to forget. So I, so my one-room mansion, we could pretend it has many different rooms, and you could pull that out of time, and that could be our safe house. I'm not quite sure... <laughs> you broke the dungeon master. ...that that will I work. I don't think a room classifies as an object. I'm going to draw a line there. <laughs> but it's a mansion. It's a very large object. <laughs> no. Does it That's work right. like does it That's work like right. the tiny hut where it's on a different plane of existence? So That's that, how I'm. So yeah. if it's on a different plane of existence, does that mean that the nightmares wouldn't affect us here because we are not here? Maybe we'd have to try. I don't think we should. I get one pull without right. having to sleep. It also potentially could, be, depending on where it is, if it's if it's like a pocket within the border ethereal, that might actually be worse because you're going to yeah. be more closer to the source. Right? Perhaps we could observe this cave and see what comes of it. I don't fine necessarily have to rush forward into it. I don't want to rush. If I could overcome <laughs> this I have much to protect now. now. <laughs> that would be Indeed, I can only imagine. That's a lesser restoration. We don't have that power. Is there like a legacy of mana version of like cocaine? <laughs> 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 a temporary fix perhaps? Yeah, actually... Legacy Man of Cocaine is located on page 135 <laughs> under the... We're getting sued. No, I'm kidding. You could, uh, you could uh, pull for tomorrow awesome. some bail water. Um, um, no. I don't know what that is. So we do have we do have some... It's, it's, it's water that comes from inside the veil. It's water from the River of Time. Oh, that sounds awful. That restores you. <laughs> it's that a restoration spell, better. but it's... it's would be the Provided it's, it's been treated oh. properly, well, it restores you quite well. Eki's against it. So perhaps... We can go the opposite direction. If we can't fully prepare for this and we only have partial holy water, is there a way to keep us awake so we don't sleep? Perhaps if Lord Chance simply tells us a few tales of their exploits as we walk. That will keep us going. Yes, the bar. Uh, I'm sure that will keep everyone awake. Yes, inspiring. (laughs) (laughs) Inspirational speeches are the best. I could tell other tales, but we have you here. We can see why. What do you think? Me? You're the one that's suffering, well, and I would like to... I just to... mentioned, I, I just want to be able to get up, go stop stop yawning, and go find the things that's tearing out eyes and guts. Oh, yeah, we forgot to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> what? The, oh, yes. The <laughs> thing in the cave that, that's eating kids is tearing out eyes and guts. It's awful. Wait, do you know that they're eating kids? And well, it's it not an it educated guess. It has requested that children's souls be brought to the cave. Children, eyes, and guts. Children. You hear the laughter of children just outside the window as they what, run past. Would it, wait a second. What if, would it make sense that the children who aren't affected by this, is it like, just trying to, arcana or something. If just thinking the children aren't affected by it, but the adults are, the adults don't want to go to sleep. I wonder if the adults, if the adults die, then the demon could take these children. Or whatever the hell this is. You witnessed it firsthand, so I'll give this to you straight. When you die in the dream, you, uh, you you feel as though you haven't slept. You have one level of exhaustion. Oh, okay. yeah. So six levels of exhaustion kills you. So six sleeps will kill you. So okay. you would you would imagine that at some point they just so when they go to sleep they have to spend their entire night fleeing from the creatures because if they die, they they in the dream they will suffer exhaustion. Mm. Elm Street rules. So they All have right. to spend an entire evening fleeing within the nightmare. But to why escape. are th- why are explained. these kids still here then? Why are they Your not guess is the kids are not experiencing the dreams. So yeah. what if we become kids? Is there a way for us to become kids so that we don't experience Not at this kids? level. I'm someone's kid. Go back in time. Does that count? Be children. Yeah, we're, all, we we're all someone's kid. <laughs> I have a childlike demeanor. But it, it probably means <laughs> means that the kids haven't been like actually taken to a cave to be killed. Right. Because the there are kids right here. Them. So he doesn't have Innkeeper. power outside uh, the cave. Innkeeper. Have your people decided to not bring the children to the cave? Of course. And this is why you are constantly being tormented. Well, we're not about to go and sacrifice our children, are we? No, one must defend one's blood. Let us go to this cave and end this fell purpose. I like Peter Principal's principles. I can we could put the kids in my tiny house. Jesus. <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. Protect them that way. We could put the kids in my tiny house. I'll be. Oh, but that might put the, your houses. Uh, your house is another dimension, so it might actually get them closer, as you were saying. Oh. Ooh. Crap. Mm. Um. It was an idea. Uh, perhaps I'd make a suggestion. 
the I'll, view might I'll appreciate. Mu- I'll muscle through it. I was just say, what if we all go to the cave and fuck the demon up? <laughs> That is not where I thought that sentence was yeah. ending. I'm very glad that there was I one was last word in that sentence. Stunned. And then I was, on board with it. I was momentarily stunned, and I was wondering what possible weapons we would have against such a force. Um, D&D After Dark. I uh, thought D&D I knew how to end a curse, and then I didn't. And I did again. I, yes, I, agreed. What say you, barbarian? No, I, will, I, I, will, I will muscle through this. It's just a couple of yawns, but I'm done getting my eyes and guts ripped out. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, I guzzle some. Uh, may I have some holy water, please? Oh, but of course. And I drink it. <laughs> you feel very clean. <laughs> uh, thank your you. holy water. <laughs> holy you know, pee. I do the same thing with silver coins to keep away like Could person, I have so. another vial of holy water from you, Mr. Breeze? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> It's the last one. Be careful with it. Oh, yes, of course. I will stash it away. Can we put a good berry in there? <laughs> you can po- now add Saint to my title. So it's Saint, Saint, Saint Lord. Lord. Saint Saint Lord. Lord. Saint <laughs> I am holy on the inside. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's head to this cave. The, so cave, we'll is go e- east. the cave is easy to find. You head to the east. Uh, there's a small wood, and then uh, just a bit of into the fringes, you find the cave. Um descending into it, traveling deeper and deeper, the darkness, your only companion following you, staring at you unendingly. A light wind howls in anguish. The chill runs down your spine. Who does not have dark vision? I don't know if my I don't know do. if I have dark vision. I, believe I assume do. the dancing light will be joining us. Yeah, I can conjure our light once more. Very good. Individual torches come together, forming a body. Your lights first. sputter nervously in the it suffocating darkness, but you, do think, illuminate uh, the way for your companions. Mm. No, you do not. Eventually, You arrive at the base of the cavern. Um, Loose rock crumbling around you and uneven rocky terrain all around in the darkness. Shadows flickering off of the dim light emanating from what paltry cantrips have provided. Slightly hidden on the east wall behind some of the fallen rubble but just revealed in the contours of the light is an ancient door with runes inscribed upon it. Careful. Runes get smashed around here. (laughs) I've been told. (laughs) Perhaps we shouldn't look at these runes. I mean, just from a knowledge perspective, I will take a look at them. Any suitable role for this? languages do you speak? Uh, Languages. Merchant Tongue, Kimarish, Thalanese, and Union. None of those. Well, that is a shame. Is it worth it? To... Oh, languages? It is some sort of language. I have Vulpine, no... common, and elven. None of those. I'm assuming I speak the same. I would assume so. Uh, Nimalian? No. Yeah. And the merchant tongue? No. Hmm. Oh, and it also says here, awesome. <laughs> oh, does that help? That's not help in this particular okay. instance. Sorry. You speak awesome? <laughs> Always. Awesome. Although, if I recall, we have some comprehend language. Yes, we do. We're just you debating whether we want to spend Arcana the spell slots. Is it ritual based? Arcana text. It's a ritual. Um, like any any sort of like. We'll take uh, ten minutes to ritual. Uh, the word the the runes <laughs> swim like before your vision as the like veil energies or anything like that, like any books. Manipulate. I have a seminal faction the text. Vision before you, hmm. and it says simply, "Death awaits thee. Death embraces thee. None escape death." It is in Nandric, the ancient tongue of the Primordials. Oh, man. None. Death awaits thee. Death embraces thee. Embraces thee. None escape death. And none escape death is what these runes say. No, but uh. you're a saint and not a nun, so you're still screwed. <laughs> hmm. Well, we all Most die in the end. Screwed. That is known. This is quite useless. Sorry, <laughs> too far. This is uh, But the, this cave, is the cave is open. This is just around. This is a door. That this is, is someone's first been door. Placed into the wall, and it's ancient beyond belief. <laughs> is, it, is it like a push door, like like handles or anything, or is it just? I mean, I think a, all doors are push doors. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you push them hard enough, they, they are. But I mean, like, is, is there any like any there is. hinge work or anything? There is. It appears to be jammed. A stuck door, a classic. Uh, is there a way to investigate the jam and see how long ago it was jammed? Did somebody <laughs> try to? Your guess it would the be bear. the collapsing rocks that are surrounding it. Oh. Jam Probably door? mess something up. <laughs> Nothing a good old one-two punch should remove. I'm not sure I want to remove the door at this point. This, this does not sound like a good plan. We have no other place to go. Otherwise, well, we I would like deeper. to use my perception abilities and perceive the Very area. Very good. 
<laughs> and see if there are other you know areas. Is that how that works? sensible thing to do in this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's the area. We're all like superpowers. And then you're just like, can I just hear? Can see? I just look around? <laughs> can know? I just I can... look around and see? Sure, why not? <laughs> if you want to be sensible would, about would it. Would others... I Care to join like me in this very shit. basic <laughs> <laughs> mundane activity? Mundane activity. <laughs> I mean, I can give you a hand, I suppose. Oh, yeah, please do, because I may not perceive in the darkness. Uh, I need to borrow thank you. Thank you. Click oh, facts. Anything we'd like. <laughs> so the these it doors uh, are I, here in the material because plane. Because of yes. my level of exhaustion, I've got disadvantage on pretty much Everything. All ability checks. Yeah. So Would how about I just help give me you perceive? How about I don't just like a instead of actually rolling. Yeah. yeah. So that is an 18 perception. Oh, good. I made these oh. for glass. You made them? Yep. Um, Dude, shattered glass nine. days. Plus, you made those? Yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't make them. I manufactured them. That's awesome. Uh, 15 shattered glass plus dice for uh, 18. Okay. Those are really pretty. Yeah. For the for the sound, um, it's all shattered glass. Thing. It's all I have, <laughs> I have, I have it definitely looks like uh, this is a, this door, as far as you can tell, is extremely old. Um, decades of disuse and collapsing tunnels seem to be the cause of it being jammed. Um, there is a lot of dust and debris all around it. Uh, you would guess uh, this door has not been opened in quite some time. <laughs> um, other than that, you do notice that this cavern does appear to be quite unstable and uh, could collapse if there were any lar- loud sounds or thunderous booms um, <laughs> well, or particularly I, loud guitar chords. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> As there's a little bit of a crumbling, crackling sound, a couple of small pebbles. Are you asking if Thunderwave and Shatter are on my spell list? Ah, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. Pardon us to not tell all their secrets. But, but otherwise, the door is the only thing of interest and there are no other passageways. All right. Okay, so must press forward, then. let's go. So, and and can any of us? You said that you had detect magic. Is that correct? Indeed. Um, is, is it possible you could use that on the door? Oh, yes, and we're under no press for time. If you take your time, it's just children's lives at stake. <laughs> See, while you're while you're gonna you're gonna they've made it for thirty casting, days. Yeah. I think you're I'm ritual okay. casting it. I will ritual cast detect magic. We can ritual cast some stuff too. That's right. What are we going to on the door? So, you do detect a whiff of magic on the mm. door. Ancient, latent mana that is still wreathed there, but over time has slowly kind works. of unraveled. Um, there are some enchantments upon this door. Uh, some necromantic energy. Mm. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, some transmutation. Oh boy. Yes, so this, ha, is, this is perhaps a dangerous door. Well, it's an enchanted door, if nothing else. Yes, yes. Who wishes to take a look at this door? I could perhaps aid you with this door business. I'm good, pretty. I'm actually pretty skilled at opening traps. Very good. I shall <laughs> inspire you. There was once a door opener like no other, and I must say they remind me of you, for they too were a bear. You are inspired. So I grab the door and try and pull it off his inches. Okay, so you can make an athletics check and add a d6, which is good, because you'll have disadvantage. Right, so I take a step back. (laughs) I gotta get rid of that old disadvantage. From the the zombie door. I'm afraid to roll them together. Uh, That would be a 14 plus another 5. That is a 19. Oh, yeah, that's enough. So you give it the old good (gasps) shoulder check, and the uh, door does give way with great effort. The ancient stone door slides open. The acrid air assaults your nostrils as decades-old stagnant air is released from within. Through the now open doorway, you can see a short corridor extending out into the darkness. Iron bars rise to the ceiling at the end of the hall, carved to look like bones, and a gate is placed within the bars. The other side of the door, this is the other side of the door you've just opened, is covered in claw marks and dried blood, and at your feet lies an old skeleton in rotting clothes, its arms outstretched towards the door, ending right where the claw marks do. Does it look like, um, first of all, what species of skeleton? Humanoid. Humanoid and tiny like a child? Human-sized. But tiny... Oh, adult-sized, sorry, adult-sized. Okay. Perhaps we could jam this door open. Yes. That is a good idea. And there's no other exits, and the nope. ceiling just may collapse. Just the gate that leads further into oh, the stones. So we're going to go in. It is it is brickwork. I should I should point out this is masonry. 
now. It, you're no longer in a cave once you go through the door. Uh, it is oh, brickwork okay. and masonry, and this has been crafted. Yeah, so okay. I'm just going to start keep like while, while they're investigating the skeleton, I'm just like yanking on this door until it's no longer going to be even. <laughs> just so you just like pull, pull it on the top of it until it's, there's no way this is closing again. Okay. I would like to investigate the body to see if there's any magical weapons or relics or anything. Looks like everything on it is mostly I stare down the hallway okay. with dark vision 60 feet. What do we see? How close are you getting to the bars? How close are we getting to the bars? Well, because that's going to determine how far you can see. Right up to it. Okay. Come on. <laughs> All right. Scamper, right. scamper. Chrono Mancers, go ahead. I am last. <laughs> We're so dead. You can see... So Listen, um, we get things done. That's right. So as you enter into the into the hallway, stepping over the skeleton, I assume? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, a I feeling, mean, respectfully. Of course. Respect. A feeling of dread envelops you. A faint song seems to drift in the air as if being sung from very far away. The smell of blood wafts through the room and your lungs fight against the ancient stagnant air. You get the sense that someone or something is watching you. Etched onto the floor ahead of you is a large symbol of a skull surrounded by various runes of different shape and size. Several unlit torches line the walls and four braziers frame the floor symbol. More dried blood and skeletons litter the floor around the symbol, all of them transfixed in poses of horror, many with limbs in positions no mortal should be able to perform. One in particular stands out to you as it's collapsed over the southeastern brazier, grasping desperately at something in its hand. A door sits in the middle of each wall, as well as on either side of the south, with the north being double doors. That's a uh, lot of stuff. We found something. <laughs> <laughs> a lot this of is stuff. Beyond, this is beyond the gate. Are the braziers lit? No, they are not. Okay. Um, and, and that skull... What is, I'm sorry, what is Skull Sign? It's a, it, skull Sign is the symbol, is the language of the Diamond Skull, a secret spy organization that encompasses all of Imaria. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But th so that's not what this no, is. No, I'm pretty sure that's just the symbol of death. <laughs> oh, okay. What a lovely room of death you found. One skull for spying, one skull for death. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, the gate, yes. um, does it look like it's locked or... No, it just looks incredibly rusty. Just incredibly rusty. Yes. And you um, said there's a door on the left... And double door beyond the beyond the gate in the main chamber with the braziers, yes. you can see there's double doors ahead of you, and then door on the left and door on the right. We have three options. Could you take left. a dropper of the? Well, you have to go through the gate just first. Some, just like yeah, let's go through the gate. Something very I mean, small. do you want to look at it for, uh, it for traps? Dried blood yeah, and I, see what I happens. <laughs> That goes loudly. Where's everybody right now? Where's seem, our bar? behind you. It doesn't seem to be trapped. So, I am currently <laughs> drawing out a noise. tiny drop of the holy water, dropping it onto the blood to see if it interacts with the blood. The blood on the door? Yeah. Well, there's your answer. Holy water doesn't normally do that, right? N no, no. It's normally just like regular water. Mm -hmm. But this oh, may cool. be useful, this holy water, in this case. And then I spit at the door to see if my spit, because no, I, I drank the holy water, did the same thing. That was a slight sizzle. Oh, good. A slight sizzle, a slight sizzle slight is sizzle. better than no sizzle. I think we should go into the, the the skull door whatever room and light the braziers. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Let's just call it. Let's just get it out here and kill it. And I start chanting some prayer. Oh, you know a boy. bunch of prayers, don't you? Okay. Oh yes. What's what's the best one? What sounds the like the most fun. devout? No, I like really enjoy God. the one like about the, uh, the holy order about the, uh, the the priests who are guiding those who they once wronged. Oh. Yes, yes. It is. It is a very humble tale. Shepherds, we shall be for thee, my lord, for thee. Mm -hmm. Speaks of change to come. Indeed, it's a good tale. So we're all just kind of coagulated at this gate. More or less. Oh, I'm at the back. <laughs> yeah, well, we're talking about blood, right? <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> so who's going to osmosis in first? So <laughs> <laughs> um, Muggle Honey has opened not the gate not me, not me, not into me, the main me. chamber. I'm just going to walk in there because Actually, I'm... Actually, just give me a wisdom save. Oh. Yeah, got it. <laughs> I am very wise, in fact. As I say, as so I... So wise, you have a on. sapphire job glowing on your ankle. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm it's back. not... Terrible, a uh, seventeen. You feel a sense of doom and suffering overpower you, and then you kind of just cheerfully bat it away mentally. Mm -hmm. Um, that's because I'm a very cheerful person. Yeah, I think. Um, this is no problem. Come on in. I walk no in. 
Wisdom save, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's good news. Mm, oh, I'm a 14. 14. Same thing. Um, not entirely true. There seems to be something trying to invade my mind. Just be cautious when you enter. Did it speak to you, or it's just a presence? I don't know. It's something that was pushing. Like a dreadful thought that I had to push away. I try to plug my ears, but I will walk in. Uh, please give me wisdom. Yeah. No. No, I shall not. <laughs> <laughs> it's very scary. No, I will not. I don't like it one bit. You feel doomed. You feel suffering. You are convinced you're about to die. Ah. You now have oh. disadvantage on everything. Ah. Oh, God. Uh, do the rest of us see this? Well, he definitely, I would imagine, reacts. He seems like a very dramatic oh. person. Ah, this is, ah, this is so, so bad. I grab my lasso. This is the end. And I lasso him and I yank him out. Okay. Does it end when I'm no longer in there? It does. Huh? Uh, <laughs> that is to say, acting. <laughs> <laughs> I check for the... I check. You want to go to the left? Or to the double doors, or to the right. I always want to go left. I have a very important question. Well, first of all, how many times can I do this? Only twice a day. I believe lesser reversal. Because we did it on the tires, or on the wheels, or whatever those things well, are. that's a whole different game. Yes, twice a day, yeah. I twice a day. Okay. I imagine... Yeah, it's equal to your proficiency. Hear, hear me you out. do three indeed. Times. Three he times. <laughs> three times. Yeah. Oh, hear me out for a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If this skull or whatever it is that's in the ground. Do I get a sense that the power of the room is coming from whatever this is that is in the ground? What you're looking at is definitely a ritual circle. Right. So, that means it was done to it. So, if I wanted to, I could place my hands on the ritual circle and lesser reversal at time to a, back to a time where it was unmade. You could reverse it 24 hours. Is that all it is? It's 24 hours. So if in the last You 24, could, however, use your object reading. And no one's touched it yet. Technically, could, I want to be honest, I did object reading on that bottle of wine. Or whatever That is true, you did. And he doesn't have it. Oh, yeah, and object reading is how much of a rust See how honest I am? I how much of a rust do you need So I think because that? of that, I should be able to go back 30 days with my uh, <laughs> last wait, wait, reversal. It comes back on a short rest, and at 6th level, chronomancers get a really powerful ability. Called not powerful, so fail of time. Oh, you're right. You can take a short rest in one minute. Yes. What else comes back on a short rest? Yeah, what do we want to spend that comes back on a short rest? I might as well do all the things right now and then take a short rest. Wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> your your, your uh, reverse timey thing, can you do it on a person? No. No, I think that's greater. Object. That's greater, right? Yeah. Um, can we look around the area that's like not inside the room and just see if there's any other room? Just, I just, wish I could. Just, a, just a hallway with can, the. Uh, uh, bone okay, carved bars at the end of it, the gate, so and that yours, goes into the mage. No, but what else can I do? Okay. Wait, object and reading comes? There's no runes on the bones? Nope. And do the bones look fresh? No. Oh, God, no. They look like they've been here at least 100 years. Okay. Okay. So only I wonder, forward. I wonder yeah, what would happen if we tried to the sanctify dice. the bones. Which you don't need to. Mm -hmm. well, I guess I'll I just do it, then. Always put a drop on it and see how it reacts. Is there anything? Fling a little drop at it. Bards get inspiration back on short rests, right? Is the uh, he will? Yeah, he's high enough level for that. Okay, so you'll get your he'll get his, you'll get all your bardic restoration. But would you affect all of? Uh, would would my be in a minute as well? Yes, yes. It's it's it, it's, everybody gets a short rest in a minute. Yeah, I mean, so I could give out I could give out inspiration if you wish to do anything uh, worthy. <laughs> Song and tale. Oh, um, I would like a call to aptitude, please. Yeah, well, of That's course. That's the upcasting one. Yes. Well, yeah, I will do you get augury points back on a short rest? Grant you inspiration. So that Thank will, you. So Who that inspiration will allow you to speed up the casting of a spell. That's correct. Okay. I'll hold on to that one for ten minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you said there was a, one of the skeletons was, like, reaching for something. Yes. Uh, it was uh, bent over in a brazier, desperately trying to grasp at something in its hand. Well, I am interested to see what the, what's being grasped. Grasped. Too. Grasped. So I will take the short make rest. A wisdom save, please. I don't, I'd rather not, but <laughs> I will. <laughs> so uh, saving throw counts as an ability check to you. Doesn't no, it? you do not have disadvantage on this. I'm still bad at this, though. 
That's a six. Okay. Mm. You're going to die today. Uh, this is where you die. <laughs> like now? You feel that way anyway, yeah? Mm. My dad would be so sad with me. I would do it, but I can't do it. But I want to encourage you in... Hold on. <clears throat> I need to put on my icky voice. I can't, I would do it, but I can't you, do it. you can still walk in. I want you to feel good about this. So I'm not going to do it. But if I could do it, which I can, but I'm not going to, pull from tomorrow your actual tombstone. <laughs> I could only imagine that it's so far in the future. So I want you to rest assured... This is an illusion. You're not going to die today. She could do it if she wanted to do it. But she I'm won't. not going to do it because I need to do it for something else. But Also, I could that do would it. immediately set his death in stone. Uh, literally. Oh my god, yeah. For before in the future. Maybe. Past his lifetime. You don't know what it's going to say. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. just confused enough to be okay with this. You're good. <laughs> Okay. That being said, you can still I'm walk gonna in that one out another time. Yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> you can still walk in and, uh, and take a look. It's just All right, like, yeah, what's, what's in what's his hands? Encompassed within the skeletal hand that you have before you is uh, as you kind of just pay, it just crumbles to dust. I'm zero percent yeah, careful. Yeah, the bone the yeah. bone just crumbles to dust, <laughs> and in your possession is a skull shaped trinket uh, that appears to be made from crystallized blood. It's empty eye socket seeming to bore into your very soul. Every s- second spent looking at it makes you feel increasingly uneasy and even holding it makes you uncomfortable. It's about a <laughs> tangerine sized skull made of crystallized blood. I have uh, picked up the source of my nightmares. Why did this guy want it so bad? What uh, was he doing? Yes, with please make a wisdom save. Oh, come on now. Here we go. I'm going to do something right. 15? Okay. The sense of doom that is perceiving you, uh, you kind of feel it like twinge as you touch the skull, but you you kind of shake that off. And oh, like it was emanating you're still from feel- it? Sorry, was it? No, it was, it was exacerbating your condition. Oh, okay. And the skeleton was holding the skull? It was desperately grasping at it, yes. So I say, it. It Master wanted- Nuggle Honey, is it a child skull or a small skull? It seems like it was crafted specifically. Okay, so it's it, it is not like you know, it was like actual poured ch- into a mold or something, or chiseled or something okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. I think good. it's good magic? designed. <laughs> so, we could if you bring it over here, I could detect magic upon it. Mm. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> As you step out of the room towards your companion, you feel significantly better. That place is awful. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Now you still I, don't n- like n- holding n- it. Now can I look at the thing? It still feels incredibly uneasy. I just don't like it looking Try at me. focus on it and sense its energies. Are you ritual casting detect magic? Uh, I will just cast it. Okay. As it grow you cast patient. detect magic. This entire room lights up with necromantic energy. Move. Uh, every skeleton lights up with necromantic energy. The entire runic symbols on the floor light up with necromantic those. energy. All three just braziers light up with necromantic energy. And the skull lights up with necromantic energy. Well, maybe we shouldn't light the braziers. Yes, well, there is magic. Well, the, <laughs> <laughs> the air <laughs> itself <laughs> lights up with necromantic energy. Bad. And the faint <laughs> song wafting through this complex also has that little, that, that, that low bassitone sound of necromantic energy. And if I listen to that song, make a perception I, check. Uh, yeah. There we go. Bard with songs? We got this. Uh, that's only a 10. It's too faint for you to make out. Hmm. Can anybody hear that? Hear what? Perhaps if you could hear Everyone the song. Everyone can hear the song. It's just it's not very clear to you. You'd have to really strain your ears to listen. I would like to try to strain my ears to listen. Yeah, go for it. You may perception. I will it. too. We might perception. as well I'll try. Perception, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a 13. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. 16 for me. Yeah, you can kind of make it out. It is a faint sort of almost choral piece, uh, 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 sort of like a, a chant, and yet mu- with musicality to it, but very haunting. Does it get louder when I come to any of the doors? No. It just seems to be ever permeating the place but you do pick out like you could probably pick out like kind of the notes and some of the words mostly speaking about uh darkness descending um voices growing 
quiet. I explained this to my friends. Cultists? I don't know, but I, it is not getting louder or fainter as I walk around the room. It is evanescent. Does does anyone have more magical? I, I'm sorry, I am not skilled in this area, but I'm wondering if if uh, I have heard of some places that are um, unholy places or not sanctified. Like if a church is sanctified, like is is this? It's hallowed and unhallowed. Ooh. Hallowed oh, okay. ground would be a church. So, unhallowed would be what you're talking about. I mean, okay. So can we just assume this I think is you unhallowed? Probably make that assumption. We can, yes. we can do that. Just to see if I can also object read it or object read this. divinity falters. Voices grow silent at the cold altars. Yes, well, it's not my genre, but do I uh, recognize this song from any historical... Make a history check. Yeah. A 13. It sounds vaguely familiar. You think at some point during your time at the academies on Kronos, they talked about it, but you weren't really paying attention to it. So you're, too busy, you're, you're too busy composing. Yes. So we have to stay away from altars. Is there a time? Can you go back to the Lord time before this was unbound? Us no. flesh, blood, and bone. Mortality usurping their throne. Oh, that's really. Are we hearing this all, or is it just him? Well, you, because you recognize. Oh, so I'm just saying. This is what I'm saying yes. to him. Okay. The way the fox would sing would be really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be all monotone, fortality and bone. <laughs> should I um, object read the floor, or do you think I should object read that little skull? Well, or? he's already touched it. You'll oh, now I can't. Okay, I'm just. Wait, if we are all standing on. Hold on. Where are you we? You need standing? to find a spot One that moment. you haven't stepped on. Yeah. Don't, I will don't, go don't to ruin. the the. Corner. Okay. We have to have an object. But where the thing, the object is the skull. The the. the I can only imagine we didn't step right on the, on the skull. Floor. The rune. Yeah. We didn't rune. step on the. No, rune. you didn't. That's step like on that. crazy talk. Yeah. But now I'm going to touch it. <laughs> Excellent. As you do crazy. so, uh, you are assaulted with visions of blood and death. And are you doing object recall? I am. Okay. You see, chanting choir singing this song loudly with gusto energy surging around um, people in black robes as black as night itself chanting and echoing um, they are doing some sort of ritual they seem to be doing it almost in haste uh, they kind of like you can see nervousness flickering in their eyes as the door that you all have um, come through is kicked open by a man with silver, salt, and peppered hair wearing blue and gold with the symbol of the Zayanku House of Lin Vander, charging in with a contingent of knights. As they run in and begin to assault the cultists, the ritual explodes outward as the blood begins to drain from orifices of all of the creatures, all of the men and women in this room. As you see people scrambling, trying to escape as their own bodies contort and reverse around. One of them scratches desperately against the door as he slowly withers away. One of them continues holding the skull out. As you see, you think four of them, each sort of being held above a brazier. There's a blast as they are flown away. And the man in the Lindvander outfit is just the only one left standing as he sort of rises his eyes open to reveal two black, uh, um, bright red pinpoints. And a sword is in his hand made of jet black material, glowing with an ominence that even the vaults of time itself would recoil from. And then you are back. So if I'm comprehending this correctly, the cultists were all killed by the... Uh, Combination, Zanku combination guy that of came the through. ritual and the Zanku. It seems like they ended up and kind he of looks evil. sacrificing. I'm themselves. assuming you're reciting all this talk, recanting. I do. Everything. I will. And he <laughs> looks. He looks like the evil one. The cultists. I don't know if they were evil or not. But Zanku they, aren't normally evil, though. Like they're especially very, the Linvander line, they tend to be. So this is a corruption. One would assume. And nobody ever heard from him again, according to the stories. Yes. So, so does this mean that the ritual was successful, or that the ritual? went awry and there's like some sort of I think he interrupted the ritual and then killed them all 
Perhaps I mean, was corrupted by he it. sounds like a Echoing witch. from somewhere off in the distance, you hear. Is that part of the song? <laughs> What's his name? Do we all hear this? What was the, the Zanku guy's name? Lin Van. Lin Van. Oh. Prepare. Bang louder than Lin Van. Us, we're done. Wait, 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 wait. Is that part of the Do we all hear this? Oh, yeah. Wait a second. In your visions, when you were sleeping and when you went, did the evil guy have red eyes? Did he? He did. He did. So, this is oh, him. Oh, this is the kid corpse eater. You get to crush a skull today, my oh, friend. Oh, I was going to start with these, but I'd like to move on to a bigger one. What is this sound? Well, At this point, they sound like heavy comes. footfalls. Footfalls. Is he coming? I have an idea. What? Footsteps in the dark, they come. Find right now. Way. Okay. You can stop me and say no if you think this is a bad idea, but this is my plan. Right now, Iki has an idea that in the future, as part of her like philanthropic uh, <laughs> adventures, like the uh, the <laughs> dragon egg, here we go, the dragon egg <laughs> adoption and and uh, care facility and everything like she's that. Gonna collect the she's also going to start a museum that preserves different artifacts, and in that museum that she now owns, there is in the future the sword of Lin Vander um, that has been collected and preserved after we already succeed at beating him in this fight. So I am now going to I pull from okay. tomorrow. No, no, no. Okay. The no. sword. Continue. No, I think this is a bad idea. <laughs> this, seems, this seems terrifying. This is a terrible idea. I, I mean, How do you kill a guy okay, like so this without his own, like his own evil sword so to kill him with? Meta. Right, Meta. I don't want to touch a necromantic I say nothing. sword. Do it. <laughs> Meta, I, I mean, I know Tommy knows what that sword is. Eka has no clue. And so I'm just going to be okay, quiet. Okay, definitely has no idea. I'm going to be quiet and I'll let would you I think, figure it out. Would Radiant I think... Radiant bolt him instead. Like, Radiant bolt him. Why take a necromantic sword from the future and touch a necromantic sword with so dark I'm gonna, energy. I'm gonna, you don't know it's a necromantic sword. I am sword, going to interrupt is... here and say that there is now on the other side of the door. Do I do it? Radiant uh, bolt. We, we have we, to hold this wait. door. Which door? I'm holding this idea, but it's a... It's the a, north door. It's an idea. Doors. Okay, okay. Well, I, um, you know what? I get ready to um, repeater pistol, rapier, dagger, whatever. At you just get time. your weapons out. Yeah. I just get all my weapons out. What the hell is this thing? We should see what them. this thing is. Oh, uh, and I throw some ball bearings at the door sure. to make them trip. Uh, mirror image. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's too many of you. <laughs> are, are we rolling for initiative? Not yet. Um, okay. I will also, because I watched him do it and I do everything he does, mirror image. <laughs> okay. Is there any preparation you would like to make? Uh, if it. I can... Sort of be out of the immediate visible area. Yeah, I think that, that, that Seek works the fine. element of surprise. The double doors are slammed open. A massive suit of hulking black scorched armor wielding a jet black blade with two glowing eyes beneath the helmet enters into the room. And one solitary sound emanates from beneath the helm. Skulls! And it begins to raise the sword towards the nearest targets. Uh, reaction. I will use the bardic call to aptitude to reaction cast the guiding bolt at it. Isn't that an action to cast? Oh, is it an action? Oh, bonus action is uh, is healing word and misty step. Yeah, oh, never mind. I'll hold on to it. Okay. Would you like to roll initiative? Uh, Let's do it. No. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, and I believe I'm going to. Damn it! I'm going to believe I'm going to. I think I should have pulled that sword. Try to use that. So, what, yeah, what, so what if you it? miss, you can roll on that. Okay. I'm on 24. 24, you say? I am dramatically less. <laughs> Same. You also got 24? No. Oh, okay. I'm dramatically less. <laughs> okay. 11 for me. 11 for Eek. Nugs on a big nine. Nugs on a nine. 22. I should have pulled this word. 22. 16 for principal. 16. So we don't have any time to talk. No. Well, I'm, I mean, yeah. Now we do. Suspend. All okay, right. First level, you can extend a single moment in time as a reaction. Target any number of creatures of your choice within 30 feet. Ironically, it will be all of us. Uh, we are changing the... Uh, so we... Sorry. Uh, I am suspending time for up to one minute. During this time, no creatures uh, uh, within the effect can take any actions... 
bonus actions, reactions, or movement on their turn, only free actions for speech. So basically, I'm, I'm allowing us to speak within one minute of real time in character. This is for you guys to learn. Um, uh, to be able to figure it out. So as I snap my fingers, zoom, something freezes, and I say, game plan? Uh, and you're used to this at this point. Throw everything we have at it. Well, I put ball bearings down in front of him, so... Um, seriously, like, I mean, he's not exactly agile, so... I mean, you might trip on the ball bearings and go down, um, but you know, is there is there anything we can do? Like, should we remove the helmet? Would that? Why did the skeleton die trying to reach this red skull? Everybody died trying to be doing everything that they were doing. So should we give the? Was the skull to finish the ritual, or was the skull to was as a result of the ritual? I don't know. We didn't uh, do we this. We could throw at the ritual. And, uh, we could throw at the skull and then get out of dodge. We can try and smash the little skull. But it's been here this whole time with the little skull in here. It could have gotten the skull at any time, so I don't think that's what it is. Okay. I mean, I think it, it's our skulls. Yeah, he I wants to throw our... skulls at it. Okay. Really hard. Throw skulls at it, we remove its helmet? What um, do we do with the little skull that we found? I don't... We can't hold it any longer. Bard's got it. What did the bard say? Bard has the skull. Does, can the bard do identify? Uh, I can. But how long does identify take? You can cast it instantly if you want. Okay. So identify skull. All right, I will. I will cast identify on okay. a so skull. So suspend goes away. On, on your turn, you'll be able to do it. So okay, <laughs> suspend goes away. Okay, you're in first. All right, mirror imaged. Uh, so what do I see? What is this thing? It is burst through the double doors to the north. Behind it, you can make out in the darkness a long hallway that extends down. This is a large suit of blackened armor. Um, with a jet black crystalline sword and two glowing red eyes, and all it is doing is saying skulls and making its way towards you. Uh, okay. Um, oh my gosh. So uh, you, you're running out of spell slots, aren't you? No, I'm doing no, okay. He's been ritual casting most of his stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, temporal spike. Let's see if I can slow this thing down. Very good. <laughs> Charisma save. Uh, six. Oh, that, that fails. <laughs> hey! Uh, it takes six damage. Okay. It definitely slows down, but it doesn't seem to visibly take any damage. But it does. All right, I'm and then dead. I will use the call to aptitude to bonus action cast Guiding Bolts. That'll work. Uh, attack roll. Mm. You strike true. <gasps> Natural <Excuse> punch. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yes. Natural. I was twice this uh, today. A wonderful uh, one with that. Uh, all right. Math me. Uh, three. Four. Six. Weird. Five. And six. 24. 24 points okay. of radiant damage. Bolt of radiant energy flies directly towards it and then reflects off of it, dispersing into various directions. <gasps> wow. Oh, no, no. no damage? Not invisible. Uh, shit. I will back toward the left door. Plan B. Okay, back to the left door. Lord Chance. Lord Chance, um... Grabs their repeater pistol and tries to shoot the blade to shatter it. Very good. Attempting. And that is an 18 plus. Yeah, that'll be a direct hit. Your bullet careens directly towards the black sword and then shatters in an explosion. Okay. That told me something. Information. (laughs) Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then uh, I will use a bonus action to um, to dash out of range. Towards the left door or the right door or be trying to get behind it. Trying or to back get behind it. Trying to get behind it. Okay. Would you like to dash between its legs? It is, it is delayed by the uh, time magic, so it actually can't do a reaction against you. Yeah, I mean, I can dash between us. Like, yeah, you certainly sure. can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Split the party. Why not? Uh, <laughs> artist known as Principal. 
Arsenal. So as I am behind this area of cover, I focus on that object that I have. I've cast Identify on it. I learn its properties and how to use them. Whether this it has is a ritualistic mm -hmm. artifact, which is used in a to complete a ritual. In fact, you believe that it is also in, uh, currently maintaining a ritual and could be used to undo said ritual. Oh, Do I know what the ritual does? Good mm -hmm. call. Do I know what the ritual does? The ritual, uh, as far as you can ascertain, is designed to take rip a soul out of its body and torture it for all eternity. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, that's that's, okay. that's dark. I mean, that's this this <laughs> if you repeat that out loud, I will say that look sounds very much like what I just witnessed when I touched the floor. Yeah, very good. Maybe um, pour your bottle of holy water on it. <laughs> when you're holding the skull, doing this, are you yelling this out? You would also this is what's know. Happening here. You would also know that as a ritual component, it is one of several. Mm -hmm. There are more of these. We should find them. Or it's the last one. Um, we should find them. Can I? Action. Man, we gather them together. And... Can't, only do it on one, though. How many times can we do Maybe that? Maybe once it's torture time. Three points each time. I, mean, I can't say that. Oh, uh, three times? I will try to pour the holy water and see if it's damaging it. It to does do so. sizzle, but it doesn't, doesn't seem to cause any damage. Okay. okay. Uh, I think that's all I have. All right. Assuming I, I don't get an action back, do I? No, that was your action to identify. Yeah, yes. yeah. Iki. When he said it was one of several, does several mean seven or does several mean like four? Like four. If exactly four? Why would it mean? Skulls. Four skulls? Mm-hmm. That's a pretty lucky and number like, to guess. I mean, I'm very lucky. <laughs> uh, no, so, I mean, we could do it, but I don't know. Or, what if I pull them from the future? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. You pull one. I could pull a bag of them because I now thought about putting them, them in a collection in my future museum all in one bag. So I pull the bag from the future. I don't know. Of all of Would them. Would you like to try that? Oh. Oh, I don't geez. know what to it's pull. Usually not it's a rare good that he turns sign. around and That's says he would like to try <laughs> that. Like you know what? I've loved both of your ideas for tomorrow. I've also should, loved both of them, should, but the, the fact that you love both of them makes me nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. But also, I kind of want to do it, but also maybe I should just do this. Maybe that's and a start. See, as a start and see how far away it is. Yeah. So I am going to... Um, you have to go to him, I think. Because you have to touch it to do it. You have not to for this. No, locate object. I just know what it is. You can just cast it. Oh, locate really? object. Oh, okay. She's, she's, I, I know what it looks like. You're doing locate object. I saw it in my mind. One. Not that one. Not that one. I would like to locate um, the bag of four other ones that happen to be in a collection somewhere <laughs> in this uh, dungeon. I think locate object gives you one, right? Yeah, yeah unless they're in a bag. They're not in a the bag. <laughs> there is one. Are you sure? There is one. Uh, the closest one would likely be directly to the... Like, through the left door, a bit beyond the left where door. Where I am right now. Where you're um, heading I'm pretty sure I said we needed to go left. Yeah, good call. Oh. It's true fact. I always go left. So, um, do you tell us? Uh, yes, there. we need to find the skulls. There are, f I think there are four. And one of them is through that door. I don't understand you. You sound so different. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. It's the stress. <laughs> it's the stress. <laughs> it's a, not, I'm not getting grays. Instead, my voice just goes yeah, yeah, back to the Yeah, your voice goes deeper. I should be like, the skulls are the door. <laughs> we need to go find these. I can't even do it's it a, anymore. It's like a rock metal band. Okay, sorry, so. folks. Uh, that way. Okay. Right. Nug. Uh, uh, you pointing to the door? Yeah, also I have movement, so I'm just yeah, going like to go. Yeah, would you like to move to the door? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to open the door? Yeah. Okay, you open the door, it leaves the hallway. You want to go through the hallway? Yes. You go through the hallway, around the corner, there's another door. Yeah. You open the door. Sure. Open to a room. Yeah. You're out of movement. I'm where? <laughs> out of movement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down here! All right, uh, so I will... Wait, uh, where did you I, go? I will scoop up uh, one of the skeleton skulls the one on the floor. Okay, uh, just one of the regular skulls. Yep. Yeah. Uh, rage out and chuck it at it. Okay, it shatters on impact. Yeah. <laughs> Does it do anything? <laughs> it shatters on impact. I'll take that as a plus. <laughs> take that's that. A, that's crazy. Right. <laughs> right. It uh, struggles to move, making it about five feet forward. 
That's how hard I hit him. Raising its sword. And the ball bearings. Um, I don't think anybody's in range. So ball bearings aren't doing anything? So it moves another five feet forward by dashing. Jesus. And then that'll be the end of his turn because it is so delayed. Fast. <laughs> so that's all Jesus. it can do. Uh, back to Eke. You're at the door. The door has now been flung wide open as your sister What am I seeing in this you? chaos? So she, she like flung right past behind yes. me. What's he doing? He's, he's, he's kind of just standing he's there. He's roiding out. Yes, he is. Where's the bard? Uh, hiding behind the gate. Cowardly bards. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Hold, holding the, the blood skull. He's holding the blood skull. And where is our saint patron, Lord uh, Chance? She <laughs> ran beneath the thing's <laughs> legs into the northern uh, passageway. All right. Um, I will. Whew, I think I should try and keep this thing delayed. I will uh, conjure up another temporal spike and oh. zap it again. Nice. And it is zapped. All right. It's taking one. Five, five more psychic damage. I believe you mean zero. Okay, zero psychic damage. <laughs> but is it delayed? Yes. Okay. Um, I have such an important question. What's that? From our recent adventures with the dragons. Yes. Those dragons had an evil, like their evil spirits. Yes were placed into them through some sort of other type of ritual, yes. right? So it is possible for something to place an evil spirit into another thing. Yes. Can I pull from... Oh, can I pull from tomorrow... Please don't. The, <laughs> the ritual for pulling an evil spirit and putting it into some sort of like phylactery-like Please thing. Please don't. The trap... It, Please don't. Please don't, because Assume. I don't think this night is actually our problem. Assuming that that ritual would ever be uncovered. Why would you say that? Theoretically, it would exist in the libraries of Kronos. And you could do that. Theoretically. I think this is our guy because he looks just like my guy. I don't. Because there, when we came in, there was something watching us and a presence that was watching us. But we don't know where that was from. I don't think it was this night, and this one wants the skulls possibly to restore their soul and not be in agony anymore. And oh. We, and the missing he was a good, children. A, the banners are good. Right, and the children is not what this entity seeks. I think he wants to end his eternal torment. But this is Lin, This is probably still Lin Bander, though. Well, it's, it's a Zanku of some sort, right? Like, in the vision, the, who saw the vision? You did. Okay. I did? <laughs> yes. I saw the vision. No, I saw no, the vision. Sorry, on you the saw the vision. I saw the vision. You saw the, the other part. vision. You saw the vision. Uh, the and yes, it was a Lin Vander Zanku. Well, according to the, the, the heraldry he wore. Is this thing to have the heraldry on his chest? It's hard to tell. The armor is very old, decrepit, rusted, and scorched. And but it looks marred. basically the same. It looks very similar well, to I've the type of I've still got moving left, so what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm still mirror image, so I want to make sure the barbarian doesn't get smoked by this thing. So I'll go stand beside the barbarian and just kind of wait there with my images in case it tries to strike at me. Okay. But it's a distance away still, right? And it's it's moving again. five feet around. Hey, let's just pace it, pace it, pivot, and it's I'll, very I'll slow. pivot, pivot, pivot. <laughs> I'll back up and now it's my turn. Very good, Lord Chance. Lord Chance. So you're running through the northern passageway, I believe. Do you have dark Look, vision? You would, you do not. I do not, but I do have a waterproof lantern. Oh, okay. Done, done then. Um, so I'm going to use that. And so beyond the double doors, there's a long hallway lined with statues of a cloaked figure wielding a scythe. Though unmoving, you can't help but feel as though dark eyes watch you from beneath the statue's hoods. A sickening knot tightens in your stomach, and it feels like the air itself is pressing down on your head, as if some great being was asserting its dominance over the hall. Mm. The doorway sits on the far northern wall on the other end of the hallway. I do not want to open the door. Um, what I am, what I would like to do, however, is um, we've had a lot of perceptions about different things watching us. Basically, I want to do a perception check to find out if there's more than one entity. Go for it. That is 17 nice. plus 23, uh, 26. 
You notice a couple things. There is dried blood on some of the statues' sides. You also can hear a faint sloshing sound from within the statues. Oh, but as far as you can tell, there doesn't appear to be any other entity here. Just a feeling. So everything is a feeling, but it's not necessarily that there's a, that there's multiple Nothing entities. Nothing that you can see with your with your mortal senses. With my Did mortal senses. Did you see the statues were sloshing? Yes. I do not like statues. I do not like sloshing. They shouldn't slosh. <laughs> yeah. All right. I so I don't think I've ever heard a statue slosh. It's like chocolate and peanut butter, but everything's bad. <laughs> bad chocolate, bad peanut butter mixed together. How do you make bad chocolate and bad peanut butter? By having it slosh. <laughs> By making it into a slosh <laughs> statue. Also, dried right. blood on the sides. I mean, I'm not there, but come on. Uh, All question. right. So, so you have a lantern with fire. This does not cause any effect or problem, right? No, it sputters in the okay. old stagnant air. But other okay. than that. Oh, so it's not having the same effect as in the, as in the end, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm worried uh, about that. Okay. Well, I think those people were just afraid of fire because in their visions they kept seeing fire like That's burning true. them. Yeah, to it death. was an anxiety reaction. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it was anything the fire itself. Reaction. That's probably it. Um, I uh, I uh, make sure that I stand towards the north end of the hallway, but I do not stand anywhere near those statues. Okay, and you don't want to open the door. No, sir, I okay. do not. <laughs> not by myself. Very good. Artist known as Prince. Simple. Um, or so abbreviate his name. Be BP. I could optionally <laughs> allow one of you to get further, which sounds kind of good. Um, Your party seems to have the back of the bus. Yeah, no, they, they have currently separated. Uh, can I still see which... Party members, can I still see if I? You can look see around? everyone except for Iki, because Iki's ran down a hall. Okay. You can technically still see Lord Chance way up there, past the armor, which is slowly making its way towards yeah. the patrons in the middle. I'm just not sure if Lord Chance is going to actually, having said that yeah. she's not opening the door. I don't know if Lord Chance is really going to go there. Why not just give the stash or the the glitch with the eyes and the dark sword and the skull and see what happens? Seems like a dangerous gamble. <laughs> I um, I think we'll find that we are trying to save yes. said ledge. Well, I think either way we need to find more skulls. Are there any other ways that we've not gone? There's doors to the right. There's a door to the right. Yeah. I will go to the door to the right. Would you like to open it? Ah, indeed. There's a hallway. Ah, I will go down the hallway. Go down the hallway and turn boldly. Then turn. I turn boldly. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Very good. It, did you Magnum Latiga? Uh, <laughs> Ferrari, like, how are you turning? <laughs> right, right, yeah, no. Left. Uh, it appears to open into left. a small room. Barrels, crates, and cobwebs line the walls. The smell of rotten food and moldy wood permeates the area, and a muffled skittering sound can barely be heard over the drifting song and the skulls in the other room. I am looking everywhere for a skull. There is a passageway on the other side of this storage room as well. Right. When I go continue. through, I continue right, on. So you're continuing on. If I don't see a skull, I'm going to look around. Did we yet. split the party three ways? Yes, you did. Holy Iki. shit. That is the this is the lies. way to do this. I'm following my door. locate object. Okay. <laughs> so you continue fast. to go for it. Um, opening the door, you see a room featuring three disheveled beds, a table, stools, and some unlit braziers. A chest sits on the floor in front of each of the bed, and a door lies on both ends of the northern wall. The smell of unwashed bed sheets and decaying flesh permeate the air. You swear you can almost hear the sound of murmuring chants echoing around the room, mixing with the distant song. The air feels musty against your skin, and every intake of air blasts your tongue with the taste of raw flesh. <laughs> that's a bad taste. Tell me sure how you really feel. That's a beautiful vision for everybody watching. Well, there are two doors. And oh, wait. I'm just following my locate object, so it's, it's basically... Door on the right. I will go right. Okay. Uh, this one's much nicer than the previous quarters. The room's single bed is much less decrepit than the others, though aside from the bed, not much else furnishes the empty room aside from a desk and chair against the north wall. Uh, an elderly man sits in the chair, though he doesn't move, and the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end as if the soft rush of air, like some breath, caresses them. What's up? He makes no move. Um, I will still just follow the locate object. Desk. I will go open the desk. Okay, you walk, walk up right next to the old man and just yank his desk open. Uh -huh. uh, in the drawer is a tiny blood skull, a ceremonial dagger, and some coins. I will take it all. Okay. Yes, you have it all. Awesome. Um, I've done movement and taken things yeah, as like a... Yeah, I think like that's a... probably your turn. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> unless you got something else you want to do as a bonus action. No, it would be another action because I would just cast Locate Object again for the next I'll one. let you do that. That's fine. I will, ca I will cast Locate Object. Uh, 
further ahead, up to the north side. But it's still down this this you, same you, path of well, the Well, you hallway. assume so. You're not okay. 100% sure. But there was another door that it was north, so you could go down that way and see where okay. that takes you. Um, as you uh, kind of turn the stuff and kind of do that, you obviously turn back around and look at the old man. Uh, he has an eyeless face crying tears of blood, and his mouth Aww. creaks open into a faint scream as his flesh peels away until nothing but a crumbling skeleton is left. Do I think that's just a vision? Or do I... No, that really happened. That was really <laughs> Oh, that's pretty sad, but I'm going to go for the skulls. Yeah, so you just <laughs> truck really on. Uh, you notice that the three beds in the room where you left are now have human-sized lumps in them. Suddenly. You, they didn't have that before, yeah. And it feels like they're staring at you. Right. Yeah, I've got a mission. Don't worry. Uh, Nug. <laughs> well, uh, where did the where did you go with the skull, the one that you had? I have it, and you I went, went to the, the right, right door. Oh, so are you all right? Uh, someone's got to try and do something about this guy. Uh, I take him out. No, I, I mean, slow him down a little bit. Let me get that sword out of his hand. Wait, I, I am good at grabbing stuff. Um, yeah. I'm trying do you to have any rope? <laughs> got the best rope ever. These ropey mitts. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, uh, I'm gonna try and tackle this big guy. This is, this is what, All I, right. this is okay. what I do. I am okay. so glad I'm not here to worry about you. Give me, an, uh, give me an <laughs> oh, athletics oh, check. Now, normally, you would have an advantage because of your bare strength, but because um, you're exhausted, you're gonna have yes. disadvantage. Which cancels it out to be a straight mm -hmm. roll. Uh, which I can go ahead and give myself advantage again with the reckless attack because I'm pretty th pretty sure this thing. Oh, why not? Hit me sure. Anyway, so so angry. It'd be fun to play the rules with Kyle. Uh, that would be ba -ba -da -ba -ba. a 21. Oh wow! Okay. I'm like, I'm right behind him being like, go, honey, go. <laughs> So yeah, what are you, honey's what are you attempting? You're tackling the waist. I'm, tr I'm trying to grab, basically grab his arm. I'm trying to wrench the sword okay. away from him. You I would grab, love to hit him with his own you sword. You grab his great. arm. It's, it's quite dense. Um, it also feels hollow. Oh, um, does it slosh? No, it does not slosh. Okay. And you grab onto it, and as your paw brushes against the hilt of the sword, you will watch as black rivulets of crystals begin to make their way almost injecting themselves into your bloodstream <laughs> and running down your veins. That's I'll terrible. Um, I can pull that from tomorrow. And you feel wonderful. And yet also empty. Oh, sad. That's yeah. a bad it's, sign. It's like you've tasted power and yet it is just beyond your grasp, but it's just on the other side of, of this looking glass. And right there is everything you could ever want. Well, then now I definitely need to try and steal this thing. <laughs> and there is almost like a, a knocking <laughs> like... on your brain. That I'm not used to. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. The armor is going to fight in. back. Uh, the swing of the sword arm will slam into the ground with you on it. Ah. Yes. There is a shockwave causing the bricks to shatter pieces of metal uh, of, of uh, stone to fly around um, as uh, the force of the impact sends a ricochet of energy uh, you're going to be taking uh, 18 damage of uh, what kind of damage is that force Ooh. of course it is. <laughs> uh, and then it'll raise up and backhand you into the wall for nine force Does the shockwave have a radius on it Yes, how close are you? I'm like right beside him. You also take uh, the damage then. 18? Yes. Uh oh. And the the Ouch. pushing against the wall was force as well? Yes. Not bludgeoning? Uh, no, that's bludgeoning. But that I take half. Yes, of. that you'll take half of. Yeah. Save okay. You what little damage I can. And the delayed is no longer a thing. Okay. The delayed is no longer a thing? I have one more of these things. Mm. One more. And it failed. I don't know why you're bothering. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this all day. <laughs> Honey, get that sword out of his hands. Hurry up! I yell in the background. More chance. Oh, I'm not done. I have a bonus action. Oh, okay. Healing word. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah. Yay! Lord chance. Uh, oh, healing word. Uh, yeah, yeah. It feels. That feels good. That feels good. <laughs> that, feels good. <laughs> that feels nice. How much? 
Uh, it, however, does nothing against the black crystals that are embedding themselves in your arm. Yeah, I don't know if you six. should be taking the sword. You get six back from me. Mm. Not that I have two ones. Lord Chance is looking up above and seeing if there's a way for me to um, get a better vantage point from like a higher. You could climb a statue. Higher grounds. Um, yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. Um, you wanted a higher vantage, you could climb a statue. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna there's also the door. Kick a door. Right. There's kick also two, a door. The two doors behind you. It's the worst that could happen. All right. So, do I take a door or do I shoot a statue? Ooh. I don't know. There's I wouldn't little... get anywhere near those statues, but I'm gonna shoot a statue. If you shoot a statue, right. see, it's sloshing, which means it might have liquid inside. You shoot a statue. If you shoot it, you might yeah. release, creating a hole where a torrent of blood begins to pour out. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is not rapidly good. beginning to fill the like puddle on the floor of the, of the hallway. Okay. All right. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be Did worse. You think? <laughs> but it could be worse. Um, maybe not now, but shortly. Maybe not now, but shortly. So um, I guess I'm going to run in the direction of a door that I have not. That'd be the door behind you. Have like, not opened, so I like open, to the, open door. the door. All right. Door opens to a large room with an altar. The north end is a grand. I run right out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's that's the room we have to avoid. Uh, Did you say you run right out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no. You didn't even wait for the description. There's nope. an altar. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, <laughs> I'm out bitches. Is this? Well, I'm not there. No, it doesn't matter. I did describe because, an altar with people four. being killed on it. Four, four. Right, right, right. For reference, okay. <laughs> um, at the north end is a grand statue of a figure depicted uh, covered in head to toe with spiked heavy armor, two fierce stone eyes staring down at the room beneath a horned helmet shaped like a malicious skull. Surely the man would be an imposing figure in person, even though even the statue gives off an aura of unerring dominance. The wall behind the statue is filled with imagery of war, countless numbers of soldiers all dying in horrific and brutal fashion. The eastern half, however, shows what appears to be the man immortalized in stone before you, standing aloft the bloodshed with a jet black sword in his hand. Interesting. Oh, that's not good. So, so it's, it's possible that the ritual got messed up and the man in the black sword is in an in-between state. Like that was stage one and stage two is going to bring forth this horn. Being, but that still doesn't explain what they want to do with the children. I don't know either. Righto. Um, <laughs> principal. You're uh, currently in a storeroom at yeah. North, I believe. And there's another door. I head to this other door. Yes. As you head through the storeroom, hundreds of spiders begin to crawl around the storeroom, and you just basically can keep moving, I would imagine. I would not stop for those spiders. Yeah, no. that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> it's not a hobby. You sure? Beyond that storeroom is a room featuring two disheveled beds, a table, stools, an unlit brazier, and a door on the eastern wall. Several brooms and mops line the walls, along with rags and buckets in the corners. The smell of mildew and decaying flesh per me at the air. You swear you can almost hear the sound of painful moans echoing around the room, mixing with the distant song. The air feels damp against your skin, and every intake of air tastes like wet fur. Yes, well, I'm not a fan of that. I, um, I don't... S this does not seem like the room where one places a skull. I continue on. Okay, open the door to a caved-in hallway. Mm. Would you like to search the room? What was the best? <laughs> Would you like uh, perception I do, investigation? You could do either or. I'll, I'll give you a different result depending on what you choose. Okay, well, I will do the perception. That is an eight. Well, you find some sheet music on the table. Oh, that's all I really wanted out of life. Anyway. <laughs> Came for the skull, left for the sheet music. Mm. That will be my action. All right. Uh, that's going to take us to Iki. I'm following my you are. Okay object. Yes, uh, opening the door and following the path, you come to an extremely simple square room. Uh, it seems plain and empty. You enter it. I do. Upon entering it, your ears are assaulted with tons of whispers and shouts, all echoing around you, the din deafening, threatening to drown out even your own thoughts. Your vision grows dark, and all you can perceive are ghostly faces all around you, shouting, screaming, and whispering. It's, it's it, you, All your senses are enveloped by this, and you can't even tell where... Walls or floor or ceiling is. 
but I'm still pulled into the direction of my spell. You certainly can. Mm-hmm. I, I, I will myself to follow my locate object wherever it takes me. Yeah, uh, and you step through to arrive in what appears to be a large room with an altar, a statue, and a mural. Do I see anybody else in there? Yeah, you see, you notice someone just immediately duck back out as soon as they open the door. Oh, sure, um, but I'm still following my, my locate object because... Yes, it is coming from behind the wall with the mural over on the east side. Oh, so like I could look behind the mural and or is the mural well, it's, painted it's, on it's, the wall? It's, uh, it's carved into the wall. It's like etched into the wall. Oh. Um, do I feel like I can get through this wall? Can I, can I see her? Yes. Okay, this is the place where all of the skulls go. This is the place, this is the altar from your song. Yes, but I'm finding the skulls and collecting them. So there's one in here. You don't need to take it out because that that's the that's the North Star, that's the permanent skull. That's anchoring the ritual. We so want- you only need to find three. Because that's the one that stays in the room. Well it's not in the room, it's beyond the room. Oh, it's beyond the room? That's yeah, it's like behind the wall. Oh, past But the- I am thinking we need to get all these skulls and destroy them to undo the ritual. Not put them all in the room where the ritual is supposed to happen, right? I, I don't know. I have too many questions. I also have questions, but I want to find them all, at least. So I will just continue. So do I feel like I can get through the wall, or is there another door somewhere? It does appear to be hollow. Um, kind of examining that part of the wall, you do notice that the figure wielding the black sword in the mural in his right hand, his left hand, is a set of pipes. Oh. Um... Sheet music. Yeah, but we don't know about the sheet music. So, okay. The figure in the mural looks like the figure that is screaming skulls in the hallway. Uh, similar, much less, much more spiked armor and symbols of death. Does he look like the sword looks the same? The vision that I had when I touched the floor. That guy? It does not. When he turned into whatever. It, it, It kind of looks like an embodiment of if the ritual likely would have, what, what you would expect someone wielding this kind of sword would look like. Mm. An ancient figure in an ancient I think war. this is him. I the think sword, it just went wrong. The sword looks the same, which means we know what's going to happen to him when he gets hold of that sword. We're in trouble. Yeah. I don't think he should be taking the sword, but that's a whole other thing. I'm not there. If the sword's but, already um, him. I think this is him, but I'm going to try and get through the wall. How would you like to do that? Well... I mean, I have an axe. Like you could ask. You me do that. have an axe. That is true. Yes, I will ask. I will ask you to please hatch uh, axe through okay. the wall. Okay, brute force your way through. I mean, I, mean, I don't really allowed, have I'm anything else I will get through. But I don't have any like mold, earth hey, kind of thingies. Yes. What would you like to do? So is the the crystal stuff on my arm growing, or is yes, it... it's working its way down your arm. Oh yeah. God. Um, rivulets. And now is it? In my arm or on my arm? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, maybe it's necromantic mold. <laughs> maybe the crystals are cool magic, and I will hit him with my arm. Where? His elbow. Okay, his elbow shatters. <gasps> as well as your arm. Ah! Your arm shattered. His arm shattered. Yes. Oh, well, if he's made right out there. of it too, if you're both made out of it. <laughs> His arm is gone. Problem. His arm. I mean, it's 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 like it's like what if you took like an arm and you smashed it against something very very hard. That's basically what you're looking at. All the rivulets are all like shattered and they were all embedded all down your arm, so they've all kind of, you know. All right. Is there pain? Yeah. Oh God, yes. Yeah. This is quite painful. (laughs) (laughs) Is he bleeding? He's he's describing it so nonchalantly. Your arm just. Is he bleeding? (laughs) Yeah. No, quite sufficiently. Okay, oh, so, so, it did, so we it, need it's to not cauterize like a clean the break wound. or anything. It's no, no, just... this is like you, your arm is is shredded. Like it's... that is not good. Yeah, no, we that's terrible. You want to avoid that. Yeah. And that and that feeling of power that was coursing through you is gone. It's like and yeah, you're kind of suffering almost this withdrawal of this lack of power. Well, and the screaming. <laughs> well, yes, and and the <laughs> yes, horrific pain shooting through your system <laughs> as screaming. well. Yeah, you're having a bad time. Yeah, no, I, I will. Uh, I will. The armor like... that uh, is, however, taking its left hand and picking up the other arm with it. Oh, the sword fell. 
I'm assuming he smashed the elbow with the sword. Yeah, well, that was what I was trying. Yeah, I would yeah. Just, yeah, so the sword's on the ground. It is. When does it go? Ah, right after him. You still mm. have action. You still have a move action. I, I have a scream action. <laughs> going on. Yeah. 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 I am not thinking clearly. I literally have been. It did. It did partially disarmed. That portion of the arm. Yes. But is there any damage done? Yeah. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> the, did he take any hit points? Is he unconscious? Is what I'm saying. Oh, he's not unconscious. No. Gosh. You still take any damage? Uh, a, a, a stream of almost uh, incomprehensible uh, profanity in my natural language. <laughs> Just a bunch of bear roaring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does then pick the blade up in its left hand. Ugh. I can't mm. stop him. Oh, shit. Maybe we should Run. cauterize that, the that blade. Is bad uh, news. Bears. Let's bears. go to Eke. Oh, so he just picked up back. the blade? It stumbled, picked up the blade. Oh, and is raising it above Nug's head. I can't leave the bear here. Um, oh, I've got me a rimage on, so I'm, I'm, I might just take an attempt to get swung at by this thing. I can't slow him down anymore. I uh, can't do anything. Uh, okay. It's going to swing at me. I'm going to die. <laughs> the bear is going to die. I guess I so I, healing word wouldn't be able to heal that. Like that's no. Something. You could you could recover some of his hit points, but you need like some powerful team yeah, magic. Got a lesser reversal's hand. <laughs> slow. Okay, Next time Try. you see Nuggle, he'll have this cool look. Um, I'm, I'm assuming a little fox wouldn't be able to drag this big bear anywhere. I mean, you can. It's just not going to be quick. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do then is, because this, this, we're kind of like in a bit of a melee in front of this double door, right? Yes. Can I basically like shove the bear into the hallway? I think that's reasonable. Okay, well, I'm just going to allow it. the bear into the hallway as he's screaming and yelling, and then turn around, um, and I know the doors can't close because the thing is in the way, right? Yes. So I'm going to reverse the door back to closed. Oh, wow. Okay. Trapping him in the room alone. Yeah, that'll work. You've seen better days, my friend. And I see down the hallway to these these two. Yeah, in the other room. Help! <laughs> okay. Oh, chance. you're in the north hallway. He's okay. barely making it. You have an axe in your hand. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm want mostly. The, I don't want to get the skull. I I'm going to basically look at her and I'm, I'm going to drop the hatchet so and then I'm going to run over to Bear and I've... um. I don't know if I have enough time to do it, but basically I want to try cauterizing the wound I to help him stop that, yeah. bleeding. And I'm going to be like, I'm really sorry this is going to hurt. And it's not any more than it already does. And then I basically try to burn the wound closed so okay. that he's no longer bleeding to that. Put a bit of gunpowder on it, light a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry. I think that's actually off. a medical thing you can do with gunpowder. Um, yeah, actually, I don't even know. All right. What do yeah. we got for principal? You are currently in a uh, in a room. Yes. Uh, found some sheet music. I found some sheet music, which I'll, of course, keep because I love such a thing. But is there anything else? Of, do I think I should continue searching? Yes. Uh, you do continue looking around. Yeah. And underneath one of the beds, you can find uh, some uh, what looks to be a lump, about a skull uh -huh. size. Ah! I get this lump. Okay. You reach under the bed, disturbing the mold. Which yes. explodes in a spore cloud. <laughs> yeah, could I stop oh. breathing for a second? Uh, please make breath. a constitution save. Oh, oh, guys, losing his arm. Be fine. The two are going crazy. Are you going to turn into a giant mob shroom? I'm going to try not to. It's not oh, my goal. Uh, well, that would be number three, and then assuming you found four. That is good. That is a sixteen. Oh yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> uh, you now have a blood skull. Right, Second I get one. out of there before these spores. So you have uh, two. I have yeah. one, and I'm about to get the other. I hope. Huzzah! Do you start going back? The you way found one. Got another mm -hmm. skull. One skull. They don't. You're far away. Okay, but you uh, can start. I'm about to get I mean, the fourth. I yell. Yeah. You know, yeah. Why not? What to do with them? And then we have to yes. With them. Um. So the hat. I pick up the hatchet. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh. Yeah. Good. Whack. And it definitely rings out hollow as you have removed a chunk of the mural and you can see something going on That'll do it. behind it. Well, I think I can just, I just, I mean, oh, yeah. I just axed it. Oh, good. So I can, I'll just reach in. Just my reach ha in. my hands you are tiny. Hand. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, there is, uh, the, the overpowering scent of blood rushes forth from the hole, and you nearly gag on the intensity. Um, there is a stone fountain sitting in the middle of this room covered in dried blood. Uh, you're guessing at one point it flowed with it, and resting on top of it is a skull of crystalline blood. Oh yeah, so I will totally take that. Yeah, she's... So now we have our, all four. That. We just need to figure out what we need to do with it. So, um, I guess that's probably all I can really do, except for movement. Mm-hmm. Um, I will. I will then walk to the altar at least, ready for my next action. Which okay. Oh no, I can't do it again unless I rest. Oh, but I'd have the one. How many times can you do the one minute rest? I don't thing? want to do an ancient. Oh, we won't be able to do that in combat. Does <laughs> sound kind of bad? No, but maybe. How maybe you doing? Uh, I'm not feeling great, obviously, uh, but I, still I mean, know where these kids come we're we're behind close. Yes. We're behind. We're, we want to keep them outside. We want to keep them on the other side of that door. I don't know. For now, I think. I just wanted to get out of the range. You keep of the them swing. locked out there with your bard friend. Oh shit. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, well, we need to get everybody back together if we've got all the skulls. We don't know. We have all the skulls. You, don't know. There are there oh, is nowhere oh, left oh, to go. You and I don't know who. Uh, you mean chance to so, know anything? So okay. Iki does know a way to go back around the other way, the other, the other door, back the way that I she do. came. I do. All right. Well, then we should just we we got to get to. We to have to find Peter. Which one's Peter? Principal. The principal. Pee-pee. Yes. Pee-pee. yes. <laughs> we have to go find our PP. Uh, <laughs> so easily forgotten. <laughs> so easily. <laughs> so, well, so you guys but are all in here. Everybody, all here. of us except for PP is in this room. <laughs> yeah. It's, did yes. you say that's correct? <laughs> I, I, I will then point at the mural just in general and say, I think this is this guy. I'm not sure. Look at the sword. And then I will point at the pipes also. Like, he's got another object. He seems taller in person. Why do we want to do this ritual? <laughs> what if he turns into the other one? I want to undo the ritual. So, as soon as this is my turn, I think I am going to do my plan. Okay. Which is pulling, pulling from tomorrow, the now from the future, uh, since we succeeded, the saved written out ritual yes, the, the to undo. Of what, yeah, how you, yes. the journal entry of how we undid oh, this great. ritual from oh, the future. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The, boot, the bootstrap paradise. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think more jail time. Uh, wonderful. Um, <laughs> does this work? Yeah, are we going to save the town? <laughs> <laughs> does this work with her ankle bracelets? Oh, that's why she'll have more jail time. Oh, okay. She'll be allowed to do it, but they'll be immediately coming after her. But they'll come to rescue us. Yeah, okay, that, so I mean, it's, it's worked out pretty it well It did for work you. out. So I would like to roll, um, if at all possible, I would like to roll insight to know how this is connected to the kids. Oh, yeah, go for kids. it. Absolutely. Because I am very concerned about, I, d- I don't want children to die by our actions. I have standards. Oh, of course. And that is... Uh, I mean, it's bad Now you've got too. a conscious. Right. <laughs> Seven, like, 20, what? 30, 20. You believe... I always did. ...that there's probably something to do with youthful energy, um, which would be likely... So there's two ways this could go. The ritual can further complete or be undone. To further complete it would require uh, fresh young blood. Okay. To unravel it which we don't would have. require the destruction of the, of the ritualistic entanglement, which would be the skulls. Oh, okay. So we have to figure out how to destroy the skulls. So if you all have your blood spilled in the ritual room, I don't think any of you are very young, so probably wouldn't complete the ritual. Young at heart. Does that count? <laughs> Childlike wonder. Um, and then if you destroy the skulls, you could probably <laughs> reverse the ritual back because it was likely stopped. Is Okay, so here's a, here's a completely dumb question that I probably don't know the answer to. You said the blood was crystalline. And this is a setting with chronomancy. Is are are the skulls um, kept together with chronomancy? Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. To well, through. he did uh, detected a bunch of necromancy on it. Would yes? Would chronomancy come up in a detect not magic really. type thing? Oh, okay. No, because it's not magic. Okay. 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 We need to we find. find P- our we need to find PP. <laughs> Speaking of which. It's your turn, PP. Searching for your PP. It's the theme of the it's adventure. Turn. <laughs> the the armor does bang on the door that I assume you're holding. Well, I can't your hold body. it. It's closed. Well, no, he, he can hold it. No, I can hold it. You can hold it. Well, in fact, if I get angry, I can hold it. He can't move me. 
That's right. He's you're a dreadnought. dreadnought. Yeah. yeah. If he stands there, you, you, that door's not going anywhere. Okay. That's cool. what I. That's what I meant. But I didn't know if we wanted to keep. Well, there's another way around, which yeah, is the way Iki is. Yeah. No, I will. So. But, I mean, but now it does mean that um, every round, if I'm not attacking somebody, I'm gonna have to like. Just keep hitting yourself. Yeah, like beat but myself. But also, <laughs> we we could just make a dash because we'll move yes. a lot faster than idea. this thing. That's fine. Attack my images. Just yeah. don't hit me. No. It's okay. Hit me. No, I'll, anyway, I would, I would rather. The poo, I'll sit me. there and yeah. WWE uh, so slap I am myself in the chest like a crazy back person. Towards where I'm sure my companions are, though I get this feeling of mockery, like there's some sort of. <laughs> I'm not making a joke about my name, are you? No, could be. Of course not. <laughs> Stalwart no, I wouldn't. Vicious last time. mockery. Just so you head back the way, back out to the main yeah. where the armor is there, banging on the door, and the head slowly begins to turn towards you, which is when the rest of you then come out from the other door. Mm hmm. Now all I'm of you are in the chamber. Him. Well, he's he's on the other. Oh, you're staying with him. I'm okay. staying with him. Okay. So then the two of you then would come we, out. I mean, we just need to get these skulls together, and then two skulls. Two skulls. So he holds up the two. Behold. You hold up your two. And I just need it to be my turn. <laughs> interesting. It is interesting. What would you like to do? Who's I'm turn? going to pull. Is it my turn? Uh, yeah. Um, I am going to. Pull, I'm doing it. You have one too. So if I sure. screw this up, you you're in charge. Um, I am going to pull from tomorrow my own journal entry from when we succeeded in this adventure, so, what I did to uh, undo the ritual. As you reach into time, there is this resistance almost that you have to like force your hand through. And uh, you can hear some arguing and this, what sounds like a scuffle as you rip the page off. Mm -hmm. At the top of it, it says, and that's why you should never try to pull that sword from tomorrow. Anyway, what I ended up doing was <laughs> putting all of the skulls in the braziers and then setting them on fire. <gasps> oh, well, good. We're right in that room. How many braziers are there? Four. Four. Math. <laughs> um, and I, and yeah, and that guy was, was reaching math. for the one that was right at the brazier in the first place. So, yes, let's do that. So, you have fire. Yes. We have skulls. Let's put the skulls in the thing. Light. Right. Okay. Um, well, take a whole round. Of well, that. what I would like to do is um, I would like to create some sort of fuse. <laughs> oh, you want to do like do it all in one go? <laughs> yeah, but okay. I want to do it with as a fuse. So if we need to get out of dodge. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, okay. You know what so, I mean? Because so, we so don't know what's going to happen. I will to the say room. you can take the time to lay out the black powder and create fuse while that's, the armor is attempting to kill. That's all what of I would you. like to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, but the, he's trying to kill who? The armor is still trying to kill you. Yeah. You're all yeah, in the room now. It's no longer trying well, to bash down that door because now you're all in the room behind it. So well, so, just... so, th so the thing... Oh, my page didn't say that we did it that way, though. My page just said that we put him in and lit him on fire. We didn't even need to create a fuse. So I'm just saying maybe we just follow what the page says. All right, so... And as you hold the page up, you see on the other side, it says, no, seriously, do not pull that sword from tomorrow. <laughs> it went really badly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. Okay, so um, so with uh, but <laughs> so I think, so curiosity kills the pot. Somebody put, you know, just basically like hot potato, right? Like somebody like just take a skull, put it in the thing, and then, you know, like just take, like I have candles, I can throw them or whatever. Like can we I just like yeah, 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 I think yeah, this yeah. thing's gonna get a hit or two on us before yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah. Right, like just can we just light, like, light, 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 yeah. light, 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 light. Okay, yeah, they're all lit. Yeah, just. <laughs> Right. Who's turning light, light them up. With, uh, so with the, yeah, so we got, it is going to turn around and take a swing at the nearest target. Uh, so we'll say we'll take one swing at you and one swing at the bard. Hey, is no! my marriage image still on? That's harsh. Your mirror image is still harsh. Up. Yes. Principal, no! Image. Nope. No. <laughs> well, that's a shame because it's a critical hit. Oh no! Uh, you are going to be taking 18 slashing damage oh, as yeah, it no slams into you and a ricochet of force energy flies out all around. You do not get hit with a critical hit. So That's you could take the nine damage. And does is it affected is by the skulls thing? on fire? Uh, the skulls will be, and then as soon as these skulls are thrown into the fires, the fire churn, churns and blazes into a crimson black flame and screams echo from all around as the music swells, and you're like, oh, you can hear it now, and it's exactly the same as what's on the sheet music. Fantastic. Everybody, sing along. <laughs> so so that's... And the armor begins to kind of 
implode in on itself as it crushes inwards the joints moving oh. in on itself. We're just hearing this being like, what's happening? As it there? is sort of like being pulled, it like they're all dying. screaming <laughs> and crawling into the center of the symbol like where it Prime slowly dying. compresses <laughs> into a tiny little bead of metal before flying outwards, leaving behind just this floating translucent silvery specter what appears to be a Lin Vander Pallet. So all we heard from behind uh. the door was, ouch and oh no, and then like <laughs> fire and like brimstone mm. and collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, what the <laughs> hell is happening out there? I'm telling you. But now we, helped, we, now we helped uh, the Lin Vander I ghost. I thanketh thee for thou actions. Thine servitude has saved my soul. Finally. Yeah, that's what we do. Called it. The black sword. <laughs> Clatters to the ground. Nope. <laughs> the brick on the floor around it cracking as it does so. Little black rivulets following along. I will like back up from that completely. I'll open the door. Okay, so so um so at this point I would like to set a uh, a mild timed explosive. Um, so as we leave, we basically just collapse, collapse. the room oh, around it. Yeah, the gate. Goodbye. That's a good idea. Collapse the room so that way well. you don't have to use any chronomancy. I will pull from tomorrow as much black powder as I can as I can yank in and leave it there. You hear uh, a familiar voice uh, of, Din, of, of Dindar oh. screaming, "Who keeps taking all my black powder?" <laughs> Sorry, Dindar. It's a dwarf I traveled with who was obsessed with black powder. We need to get the hell out of here. Yes, yes, we do. We need to get the hell out of here. So I, I set the time. This explosive place must we... never see the light of day. Well, that's okay. We have enough black powder. Well, sure. It'll be pretty dark after this. Very good then. Yep. Pretty dark. Kerblam. We're, We're all out. out. We're all standing. We're all out. Do We're your thing. Kablamo. <laughs> 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 Kablamo! <laughs> <laughs> we all watch intently. <laughs> right, like it's like this really delicate mechanism that just kind of squeaks after all this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> then everything oh, just the ground kind of collapses. shakes as the cave collapses inward, forever sealing away the cursed remains. As the <sighs> spirit of the Lin Bander Zayn Ku just sort of waves as he fades away into the veil. All right. And this sort of almost like sense of unease that you didn't even realize was there just sort of is lifted from you. Whew, what time is it? I feel tired. And half the town passes out. <laughs> right. Ar- yes. Look, arriving back at the roadhouse, they're all asleep. Just they fell where they stood. They just Exhausted. seem to be peacefully resting away. Aww. Aww. Nap time. Yay. I don't know if now is the right time to mention this, but... I need a new arm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. He'll be here in a minute. A spherical <laughs> uh, vortex <laughs> opens up as a <laughs> sapphire energy. <laughs> we, 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 don't, we don't have time for a long rest. Real quick. <laughs> there's good. like long rest yep. I could pull from yep. tomorrow. As, uh, <laughs> several okay, knights this, in this. sapphire armor with tabards come out, uh, swirling around, driders. Uh, begin to surround you. They ensnare you in bonds. Um, hey, wait, they, wait, of course, salute you uh, properly. Yes, uh, uh, not you. Oh, not I, you. I, You're fine. No, I, I like, thought I, we I, kicked I, you I, out. Like, getting ready what? to... No, no I, I don't even know what happened. Was there some sort of disturbance? And I'll turn to him and like, as they look I'm over, sorry! As they look over at <laughs> yeah. Nug, uh, one of them screams, and you are surrounded and covered in a suit, thrown up in a small tent where they immediately begin brushing you down. Uh, people in hazmat suits are scrubbing at your arm, <laughs> and uh, you are whisked away to an experimental room oh. where you are told something about elder blade cancer. Uh, they will help you. G- goodbye, old friend. <laughs> we'll see you in another ten years. <laughs> so we're just yeah, we're just like. <laughs> Well, th- uh, thank uh, you, Principal. Doug is confused. <laughs> okay, Doug spends so, most of his life so, confused, but so this before, was really confusing. So before those two are whisked away, <laughs> again, um, <laughs> again um, I would like to um, negotiate with their jailers okay. and, and basically say that... A, dra- um, a dragonborn in sapphire scales and sapphire robes with a sapphire collar wielding a uh, sapphire uh, staff mm-hmm. approaches. 
Um, a lot of sapphires. Do you think that perhaps some time could be knocked off their sentence for good behavior since they did technically not only save a town but potentially the entire world from, well, from imminent what, destruction? What we can ascertain from their ursine friend there, uh, they may have averted a very bad disaster that uh, Nobody entertained likely would have resulted in a, a great many people suffering. That said, they did create a paradox in doing so, and now we have to clean that up. I just pulled from my own diary. I didn't even make a dragon, baby dragon that never existed. There are explicit rules in place about doing that. Don't you think you could bend them just this once? Hey, at least we get three square meals a day. (laughs) (laughs) Your contribution will be noted. Uh, I assume that the... um, the, the Lord Chance Wing of the Kronos Academy will be receiving <laughs> Lord some uh, much needed repair work. Hmm, yes, and we may be able to make a small donation. A donation is always a favorite. And one. also, <laughs> some. <laughs> <laughs> and you give me the sheet music, right? <laughs> like, well, of course. I and I also. A relic of the Primordian errors. Under the M, though, yes. So. Consider <laughs> the uh, consider the bail posted. Yes, yes. Uh, you've been bailed out. Oh, thank you. We've been bailed out. Okay, hold on. Thanks, Lord so, Chance. So, I'll call you Lord Chance. Now. Lord Jesus. Saint. Lord Jesus. Saint. Temporal Saint. saint. Temporal. Lord, Lord Chance. High respected Chance. I am afraid the Earth sign will need to remain in quarantine. Oh, I agree. So. I just have to say that um, I think you have to run tomorrow's game because we, we can't be separated. <laughs> it's true. Also, and I, know, I, I know that even though I know the campaign, I'll, I'll have to play dumb and just let her use me as a, as a conduit of extra action economy. But uh, it's tough. We'll see. So the last thing that I will say is poor Nug. Um, you are reeked with nightmares for Aww. quite some time. Dreams. Even though we, we, we save the game. Can't we find somebody who has less, I mean, greater reversal? That would... Oh, yeah, the people at Kronos will have that. Eventually, you'll be fine. <laughs> you are, okay. you are fine. racked with nightmares of a sword constantly calling out to you. Until and an elf picks it up. Power just outside your grasp. Well, and I feel so guilty. Grasp now. <laughs> now. Very, very close. And what? In the darkest of nights, you imagine a hand of onyx black crystal. And just before the temporal mystics finally cleanse you of the corruption that has been coursing through your veins, you have a vain, distant vision of a small little rift opening in space, a hand reaching to grab onto a hilt and pull it through time. Um, and by the way, I feel so guilty about you being in quarantine for umpteen million years, especially with no honey, that that I basically decide to just buy out a forest to negotiate with some druids to make sure that it is taint free. So when you when you come out, there will be a sanctuary for you. Awesome. Do you know any artificers that could maybe give me another hand? <laughs> yes, you would actually. It was Ooh, a minus yeah, pulling the sword cool. from the future. It was not. Okay, good. Because I learned my lesson. It was a <laughs> it was a gnarled old hand with a black robe. Uh, oh. Gnarly, clearly. There is Thank corruption in thine chronomancer ranks. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So we didn't actually go to prison. Well, maybe for we didn't go to prison. Bail was oh, good. Posted. We can play tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And there we go. There we go. What happened, well to team? Oh, he got, he's working for me. Oh, he's working. Yeah. He's yeah. Oh, he's like, he's we, like we, your, we didn't get principles. Part. We didn't get principles prologue or epilogue. Uh, well, uh, I am of course so so glad, so so glad to be helping the Lord, and I'm in no way conspiring for any ulterior motives or upheaval of the administration. I am doing nothing but supporting <laughs> this most lawful of power structures. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay. Well, there we have it. Well, thank you very much for watching. We went a little over time, but uh, this will be up on YouTube to watch. But uh, it's the end of the night. Let's do some plugs, as promised. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm Teo Sabadia. You can find me at alphastream.org. From there, you can get all the videos to my blog articles and to the different things that I've worked on over time. Can you tell us after midnight? <laughs> it's like, I, you know, I'm a gremlin. You're not supposed to feed me after midnight. <laughs> and, um, uh, hi, I'm Monica Valencinelli, and I just want to say thank you for playing. Um, you can find me at Books about. Uh, I'm Elisa Teague. Uh, you can find me in, on all the things at Geeky Pinup. Uh, I think I rattle a lot, enough of my credits at the beginning. Rewind, or whatever they call it these days, to the beginning. These I'm tired. Days. There we go. <laughs> the eight uh, you can find me right side. here at Six Sides of Gaming. If you're watching from Demiplane, you can stay there, obviously. Or you can come over to Six Sides of Gaming, and you can go to Game Hole Con's page as well. Like and love everybody and everything. The more we like and love everything we do together, the more we can raise and elevate our communities for the better of artists and, and gaming and fun. Uh, I'm Brian C.P. Steele. You can find me at Brian C.P. Steele on uh, Twitter and Facebook and that kind of stuff. Uh, or you can see me on YouTube every Friday at Tales from a Professional Nerd. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for DMing our No game. worries. Yeah. So much wonderful. Round of applause. Really appreciate it. It's my Bravo. pleasure to deal with shenanigans. I am going to pull from tomorrow eight extra hours of sleep tonight. <laughs> 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 Good night. <laughs>